Napoli, Napoli, buonasera Napoli. You know, it's so funny. There's something happening. There's a batak uh, earlier today uh, with Ustad Sabir Khan. His internet had issues. So I spent a lot of time trying to, you know, get, you know write to everybody, well, the batak is postponed. Now we had uh, scheduled this batak twice and both times the link expired. There was something happening on my end now. I don't know. The computer is playing games. It's a little sluggish today. So to everyone joining my uh, sincere, you know, my regrets or, uh, you know, <laughs> unfortunate, it's not... You know, technology, it's not something that we intentionally do. Uh, but even, in fact, Francesca and Amelia, they texted their friends and fans and family twice. And I thought the third time, let's just do it without we sketching. Are people, we want to be live. We don't want to be on the Yes. Um, Yes, because this screen, we can't, we can't move, we can't, we can't stand more on the screen. We need people, we need to be alive, to be live and yes, alive. Yes, live. <laughs> That's In the true. moment, especially, no, but it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. it's okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, friends and everyone, and my foes and my enemies and, <laughs> you know, the, uh, the, the gods and the devils, and the goddesses and the, I mean, everyone alike, as I usually tease in Punjabi, um, Dosto, Mitro, Dushmano, Jani Dushmano, Darindyo, Parindyo, Ji Ayanu, Salaam Alaikum, Vaihur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaihur Ji Ki Fateh, Namaskar, Te Sat Sri Akal, Te Sat Kartar. Aaj di jadi mulaqat hai, mein dono pehna de naal rubru ho rea, Francesca Rondinella and Amelia uh, Rondinella are two very important people in the city of Napoli. They are the first place in the city of Napoli. It is a great place in 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 Napoli. It is a great और अपनी पहचान रखता है यदि अपना तर्क है का लॉजिक है इतिहास है बहुत बड़ा इस इलाके का इतिहास पश्चिमी संगीत ना लो जो जाने आ जाना मॉडर्न संगीत है उस तो भी पुराना है का रेनेसांस और रॉक तो भी पुराना है का ना दी जड़ी कंपोजिशन जड़ी यहाँ मिल दिया ने ग्यारहवीं बारहवीं शताब्दी तो है so, I was very happy that my father died in the death of this year. I didn't have a lot of time to do it, but I wanted to say that there was a lot of time to do it. There was a lot of love for both of them, and I wanted to say that my father and my father were very happy. 
ਤੇ ਖੈਰ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਜੀ ਆਇਆ ਆਖਦਾ 153ਵਾਂ 153ਵੀਂ ਬੈਠਕ ਹੈ ਯਾਰ ਨਾਲ ਵਰਚੁਅਲ ਬੈਠਕ ਸੀਰੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਇਹ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਸੀਜ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਹੁਣ ਮੁਕੰਮਲ ਹੋਣ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦਾ 550 ਸਾਲਾ ਇਸ ਮਹੀਨੇ ਦੇ ਅਖੀਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੁਕੰਮਲ ਹੋਏਗਾ 551ਵਾਂ ਸਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਉਤਸਵ ਦਾ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਹੋ ਜਾਏਗਾ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਪੈਣਾ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਛੋਟੀ ਹੈ ਅਮੀਲੀਆ ਉਹ ਬ੍ਰਸਲਸ ਰਹਿੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਸ਼ੌਹਰ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਨੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਨਗੇ ਔਰ ਵੱਡੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹਨਗੇ ਖੱਬੇ ਹੱਥ ਬੈਠੇ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਫ੍ਰਾਂਸਿਸਕਾ ਰੋਦਿਨੇਲਾ ਇਹ ਨਾਪੋਲੀ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੀ ਵਸਦੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਇਹ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਫਾਦਰ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੁਣਿਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਇੰਟਰਵਿਊ ਵੀ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਅਹਿਮ ਇਹਦਾ ਤੇ ਤਾਇਆ ਜੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਮਸ਼ਹੂਰ ਸਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਬਾਰੇ ਆਪਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਨੇਪੋਲਿਟਨ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਸੰਗੀਤ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਉਹਦੀ ਇਹ ਨੁਮਾਇੰਦਗੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਇਹ ਆਪ ਲੈ ਦੇ ਵਾਅਦੇ ਵੀ ਵਜਾਉਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਤਮੁਰਾ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਤਮੁਰੈਲੋ ਵੀ ਤੇ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਹੀ ਸੋਲਫੁਲ ਮੈਲੋਡੀਜ਼ ਨੇ ਕਲਾਸਿਕਲ ਮੈਲੋਡੀਜ਼ ਨੇ ਉਨੀ ਵਿਸ਼ਤਾਬਦੀ ਦੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸ਼ੋ ਪੀਸਸ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਈ ਫੋਕ ਫਾਰਮਸ ਦੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੈਲਾ ਤਮਿਰਤ ਤੇ ਵਰਗੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹਨਗੇ ਵੰਗੀਆਂ ਹਨਗੀਆਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਗਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਮੁਹਾਰਤ ਹੈ ਬਲੰਡਨ ਬਰਲਿਨ ਮੋਂਟੇ ਕਾਰਲੋ ਮਾਸਕੋ ਤੇ ਬੀਜਿੰਗ ਹਰ ਥਾਂ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਅਹਿਮ ਥਾਵਾਂ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਗਾਇਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਸ਼ੋਜ਼ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਹਨਗੇ ਸਿੰਗਿੰਗ ਅਰਥ ਤੇ ਫਾਰ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਸਾਊਥ ਇਹ ਉਹਦੇ ਖਾਸ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪੇਸ਼ਕਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ so friends welcome uh, welcome you all to the 153rd yarana virtual batak series uh, mela i am in conversation with uh, the two sisters lerondinella and the elder one of course to uh, to the left is francesca rondinella and to the right is amelia uh, rondinella amelia is uh, uh, amelia's employed a husband who works at the united nations in brussels so she is visiting from uh, <laughs> and uh, you know uh, and then of course she's visiting and it was a great opportunity to have both of them together um, I, as i was telling in punjabi that uh, i was very fond of their father and i had the uh, fortune of i had always wanted to converse with him and i uh, spoke with him i documented him some he was very elderly already i think 3 4 years back and to, this year we lost him uh, the reason why we've taken time otherwise uh, me francesca and amelia would have been one of the first conversations uh, in the month of uh, april when i began but it was it was uh, uh, the father we'll talk about him i'll ask the two sisters we'll remember him as well this year who's an outstanding uh, musician uh, with the um, um, uh, already with one of our other friends um, uh, we we've uh, uh, we remembered him we discussed his uh, who played piano for over 2 uh, 20 years uh, and we we'll, we we'll, i'll have uh, rather than me talking about him we'll have francesca and amelia speak about the work uh, they did together with their father um so i i'm looking forward to also remembering him um their father that is um couple of uh, notes about them they both represent uh, uh, very beautifully in fact the neapolitan uh, vocal music uh, since the early 19th century the family has preserved a particular tradition of neapolitan singing um, and the two sisters is uh, artistic interpretations uh, span a wide range of neapolitan repertoire soulful melodic, melodic classics uh, 19th century show pieces cafe chanson songs and folk forms such as uh, tarantella and tamuriet uh accompanied by the tamor and tamburello and, and it's fantastic it's quite a sight when we have both of them playing that and i'm going to i hope i'll be able to request them to to perform something with with the with the, with the percussion uh drums as well uh the two sisters have uh, toured widely across italy and also performed in london berlin monte carlo moscow and beijing uh their shows include uh, the singing earth and far into the south so um here we are it's it's um, 
to begin with, I don't know, uh, it'll be great if you can tell us uh, about the song that you chose uh, uh, to begin the evening with. Uh, how old is that song and what, is it, what does it talk about? We chose uh, uh, to uh, start uh, not with an ancient song, uh, even if uh, it looks like an ancient one. Uh, because uh, the author is like one, like me. The song is like me. I mean, I look ancient, yes, but I'm not so ancient. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> not sure. Not sure. <laughs> you look beautiful. Uh, with the long bird. <laughs> and uh, it was written and uh, even sang by one of the contemporary. Uh, singer, you know, one of the best we had, it was Pino Daniele. He, he was a songwriter. He was a songwriter, and unfortunately we lost him uh, too early. And uh, Pino Daniele um, preserved the tradition, giving uh, to the tradition a new uh, uh, sound, a new life. Uh, and uh, we love him, we really love him, because uh, uh, it's something that we are trying to do uh, since we start uh, uh, to be in the tradition but even to find and to discover uh, new uh, new songwriters not Pino Daniele because Pino Daniele was famous but contemporary songwriters and this song uh, with, with which start with uh, reminds the voices of the street vendors I see okay and, and the, in the original song, there is a woman voice that, that does this uh, this voice that does sigh, yes, sigh. Uh, it means that uh, she walk a lot in the street, okay, and she goes up and down, up and down, up and down the stairs for selling her, garlic. her products, the garlic. In the <laughs> because in the Napolitan language, you know, is a like language, is a dialect. But he is so rich, <laughs> his, his vocabulary, its story, its literature, its poems, so it's as a language. Mm -hmm. And so Ayo is garlic, and so this uh, street vendor that is going up and down all the day to sell this what, what in the voice, you know? And uh, leaving, uh, leaving very early, leaving very early maybe because she said uh, everyone is sleeping and I'm still here because she has to walk a lot to join the the center, the town, because maybe she's coming from uh, a country nearby Naples. Hmm. So it's uh, this is the strength of Pino Daniele I to uh, look back uh, not only to the tra in the tradition, but to look back in the life uh, of uh, Neapolitan people uh, and uh, still alive in the 70s, because this is a song written about the 77. And I see, so, I see. yes, the country was still alive. There were still farmers, people coming from the country to sell things in the markets. And uh, so uh, this is important to be connected with your memories. But Pino you know, Daniele was uh, able to do that, but um, uh, giving uh, uh, inside the, her, his songs there is blues, jazz, American language, Italian language, and that's why uh, his success spread all over the world, not only here. And in here. fact, he, um, in, uh, today we are going to sing another song. That uh, in this song there is uh, still this voice, this vendor voice. I see. I see. After, yes. After, yes. Because he was inspired by also by this uh, this tradition, you know. So you find it in uh, ancient song as in modern song. You can find in the in the two. I see. So it's I see. It's it's very interesting for me to uh, to look at the idea of the vendor. Uh, uh, I'm not reminded of any uh, particular song genre here in, in South Asia. Uh, again, I'm uh, you know I cannot claim to know the entire uh, South Asia South, yes. South Asiatic tradition. Maybe there is a song because it's, it's a very vast area. Uh, but especially in Punjab, uh, we've, we've had, uh, um, you know, a lot of songs which are very familiar. I mean, could be about relationships, could be about the mother-in-law, the sister-in-law, the brother-in-law, the teases, the sarcasm uh, within the, 
yeah, or uh, or the you know the the uh, uh, the he mistresses and the she mistresses, uh, you know the yeah the the. Uh, is called the Ia Mamata e tu, me, my mother, and you. So. I see, <laughs> I see. So yeah. we have more like that, you know. We we've, we've uh, uh, sort of, but this uh, the idea which I have, uh, I mean, uh, within the Neapolitan tradition, the idea of the vendor, uh, it is again uh, for us, you know. We have, uh, of course, we have a lot of farmer songs, um, um, but they are more celebrating about with regard to the harvest. But here, I think there is another voice, uh, another kind of a vendor voice. That is, I think, something very, very interesting. Uh, uh, you know, Kasip, we have two different traditions in Naples, uh, uh, an ancient one. The tradition of the Tarantella, that is, uh, you know, is a dance. Uh, and after uh, this dance uh, comes the uh, song of Tarantella, the Tarantella song. Mm. And this is lied to all the country by the sea. Mm. Okay? So Naples, the Costiera Maltitana, the Costiera Sorrentina, all the country by the sea. Another tradition, very strong, is the tradition of the Tamburriata, that as the Tarantella is a dance. Okay? I see. And and, and then uh -huh. comes the songs, and this is lied to the art, to the art, to people living with the animals, not by the sea. So it's two different Naples that come in um, together, and then the author of the 19th century, the 20th century, discover the tamuriate and try and start to write some. Uh, as we can say, tamburriate uh, of uh, of the town, okay, <laughs> not the tamburriate of the modern, modern. No, no, okay, the modern one, contemporary one, but uh, try, uh, taking and keeping the tradition of this countryside that is very strong. And we had a big, huge maestro that is Roberto de Simone, is the one who uh, discover again, discover this tradition and let it kept alive, keep alive for a long period mm -hmm. with uh, masterpieece like Gatta Cenerentola and uh, a lot of uh, uh, huge masterpiece uh, in did, the theater uh, and song. He did, he did a big uh, research for this, you know, because it was very complicated. A lot of, of these songs were only oral songs, you know, there, there was nothing written. So uh, he goes to catch uh, mouth by mouth, you know, to collect, he goes uh, talking record. with people to record this. Mm. So he recorded these songs and it was very difficult for him. So he, he, he did a really, really huge work. There is this, a fantastic, uh, uh, a fantastic record, the disco. We don't use anymore the disco, the LP. LP. And with all this recording by Roberto Di Simone of all these voices that Amelia was telling you, it's something magical. Yeah. magical. You you shared the uh, uh, he's very elderly, I think, uh, but you shared some of the songs which were uh, I think played in the theater. I remember that we were discussing about uh, that in, uh, way back in February, maybe. Yeah. We discuss about that uh, when uh, you asked me about something ancient yeah. to uh, that can remind something uh, uh, like to your tradition yeah. and i told you and i uh, shared with you the link of the uh, yes sola I of, see. Uh, yes. Uh, Gatta yeah. Cenerentola. and you write to me i remember you wrote me and you said oh gosh this is really something that reminds me my kind of uh, <laughs> tradition okay <laughs> This was discovered by Roberto Di Simone, yeah. written by him, but always because he was very, very, um, he was a maestro. He is a yeah, maestro. Uh, do you remember that song? Uh, can you can you share that with everyone? The one that I mentioned uh, that it reminds. A little bit. We don't. We don't even. We don't uh, sing. Uh, just a bit. Just a little bit. Just a couple of lines. If you're reminded of the text, I don't know. Uh, I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember the, the touch text. Ah, okay, doesn't matter. We'll. We'll. Uh, maybe one day we will do that. And uh, but I'm. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, the talk of uh, Ramanjit, uh, one of our uh, friends, uh, who's a theatre actor and director uh, and a filmmaker, 
she in fact reminds me that uh, the there is a song which is uh, which is more to do with a hawker uh, yes the vendor but it's you were mentioning about to do with a farmer uh, is that right it was a farmer song is it the vendor or is it uh, yeah, it's selling it's selling it's vegetables it's and so on and so forth in Punjabi, for example, we have uh, the idea of the vendor hawker who sells the bangles. Vanga Lalo, as she's reminding, I think that's a, yeah, I was slipping my mind. Often there were farmers, there were farmers, they work in the fields, and then uh, they go to sell their products, of course, yes. Uh -huh. And after the uh, Salia Salia, the uh, other one that you were talking about that you would like to, sh uh, that you want, that would be uh, wonderful. She says, Ti voglio bene assai, you know, the, the, yes. the way by Raffaele Sacco. That's, no, that's... I would like to uh, even uh, to show you another song about uh, uh, street vendor. I see. And it's uh, a song uh, by Salvatore Di Giacomo. Salvatore Di Giacomo is the father of our Neapolitan language, I the modern oh. Neapolitan uh -huh. language, okay? Mm -hmm. Then we go back I see. to that the, the, because uh, I told you that uh, a lot of uh, in the 18th and 19th century uh, and 20th century too, and even in particular Salvatore di Giacomo, he uh, took some uh, ancient uh, uh, song from this, count, this countryside that I told you, and he changed it into a modern song. I see. And this, it's the song that Amelia and I, we will... Uh, sing now, Spingula Francesa. It's about the yes, yes, yeah, the, the thing that I was um, I was uh, was telling you before. So uh, when I'm you, you will see when we sing that uh, for a moment I will do, uh, I will not, um, I, I will not sing the words, but uh -huh. I am going to give my voice. So I do only some notes, and this is the voice of the the vendor that is, that is calling. All the women <laughs> for selling these uh, spill, I don't know in English, this, uh, this kind these of jewels. jewels. This kind of jewels. Kind of the jewels, jewels. okay. Uh -huh. So, for attracting the, their attention, uh -huh. he gives, he do this voice in this song. I so, I uh, will we'll show you, okay? New York, Marietta, Dalla Casa, Yenna Bandana, Spingula Francesa. New York, New Manietta, Dalla Casa, Yenna Bandana, Spingula Francesa, Yenna Bandana, Spingula Francesa. Ma chiama una fiola trasa trasa, quando la spinga la rai ho voluto urnesa. Ma chiama una fiola trasa trasa, quando la spinga la rai ho voluto urnesa. Quando spinga la raia per un turnesa, e io che sono una vaga da si usa, subito mi buca in da sta casa, a chi vuol belli spinga la francesa, a chi vuol spinga la raia, e io che sono una vaga da si usa, subito mi buca in da sta casa,
casita proro no se mora acceso ricetta bello mi che sto paese casita proro no se mora acceso hai risponde il taggio pazienza scusa a tenga mura de sto paese hai risponde il taggio pazienza scusa a tenga mura de sto paese a te ganna mura testo paese e te na faccia gomma promerosa e te na bocca gomma na sciarata a chi vo belli spinga la francese a chi vo spinga la chi vo e te na faccia gomma promerosa e te na bocca gomma na sciarata a chi vo Wow, <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. So, he, has to, uh, he has to to be very strong no, with with his voice. If not, women. He has to he has to keep the note. attention of women that are, that are in the in high in their not yeah. not one but many women. <laughs> yes, many women, of course, but. Uh, he is even a little bit, you know, yeah, like a lover. <laughs> so during the selling, he wants to uh, give a kiss to this uh, beautiful girl, and the girl say, ah, "Listen, in this country, if you don't, uh, if you do this, so you can even don't go back home." And he say, "Bye." And he say, "I have a fiance in my country. I was just kicking. I was just joking. It was a trick." Uh, okay, because uh, the girl say, "Be careful. Uh, this is a very dangerous country if you don't, uh, if you move like that." Okay, so sell your product, sell your jewels, but don't uh, be a uh, light like lover with me. <laughs> I see. This is the story, and this was something uh, um, born in the countryside. And Salvatore Di Giacomo, that uh, uh, was not only one of the biggest uh, poets of the 20th century, the 19th, um, and because he was born in the 19th century, mm. at the end of 19th century. Um, and uh, Salvatore Di Giacomo discovered this uh, song, okay? And he, he just changed it a little bit in a modern way, but uh, if you go in the uh, in the in the, in the history, in historical books of uh, Neapolitan songs, you can find the original Spingula Francesi. Wow, that's oh. no, a fantastic, fantastic song. And the idea of uh, so the the way it was written, of course, uh, he wrote the poetry. So is it Giacomo who actually composed uh, the music as well, or was it composed later? Yes, he, yes, he, he was not the, Salvatore Di Giacomo was the one who wrote the lines. Uh, okay. Okay. He, was a poet, he was only a poet. Uh, and Enrico De Leva, Enrico De Leva was the musician. But in this case, uh, Salvatore Di Giacomo didn't wrote the lines. He changed it. Changed. In a oh, I see. I see. Is the only, uh, is the only example because he was a huge poet, uh, the father of our Neapolitan language. But you know, but in, the, in that period, it was uh, difficult that a poet w uh, was on also the musician. So uh, in this period, the poets wrote the the poems, and these poems become uh, the become a song with the help of a musician. You know, is with uh, the meet the two uh, two people, <laughs> the, a writer. A poet and a musician uh, met, and uh, it, it, uh, some some songs, some of the best Neapolitan, the, the, yes. the, the best of Neapolitan song will. For example, will be. to give you an example, to give you an your own. Um, you'll have to give me not a not a example. I don't take one. I take uh, no, no, two. But I want At least I, two examples. Yeah, no, I think there is an example in particular, what Amelia was saying, that is a song, uh, is called Mare Chiaro. Uh -huh. Mare Chiaro, allora, Salvatore Di Giacomo wrote this poem, ok? He wrote a poem called Mare Chiaro. Quando sponta la luna a Mare Chiaro, pure li piscian ci fanno l'amore, s'arrevoltano all'onda del mare, per la tria e prezza cagnano pure. 
Uh, Tosti, Paolo Tosti, who was a very important musician of that period, read this poem and he was so fascinated. Oh, he's so inspired and fascinated by it. But the problem was that it was not a song. So when Tosti has to write the music of this poem, he said, okay, but what I can create, because there is not a stanza, a ritornello, a stanza and a ritornello, okay? There was a refrain, stanza, refrain, stanza, refrain. No, it was just lines, okay? What Tosti did? Uh, when uh, the first stanza stops, he repeat, he repeat this line, uh-huh. then, he prayed refrain. <laughs> What do you do now? What can I do what now? Thought. What is thought? thought? What can I do now? I have no refrain. Okay. You want to say, listen to the refrain? It's the Greeks, the Greece in Naples, our origin. <laughs> this is I, Marechiaro, born. Yeah. <laughs> I see. Oh, fantastic. This is beautiful. What an example. There, uh, are, there, is, always, uh, the, there is always a story behind uh, the song, no? Because we have a rich repertoire, very, very huge, rich, full of, of, full of things to do, you know, because uh, there, there were poets. And so the poets uh, were so inspired, and the musician. And in this period, in that period, there were very, very uh, fabulous musicians. He's know? called so, the uh, golden age, the golden, golden age, age of, of Neapolitan uh, poems and songs. And songs. The, uh, the, the, uh, the 19th and the 20th century. And you know, this kind of uh, this kind of songs were called the poesia cantata, uh, sang. Uh, poetry. Poem. Sang poetry. Song poetry, I see. Uh-huh. But uh, it's very interesting, uh, like uh, in Napoli, uh, uh, the old music like uh, Sergio Bruno and others, they have sung some of the uh, researches that I did 20, 25 years ago. Uh, he has done like a, uh, like a very chronologically from the 11th, 12th century, 10th century uh, onwards till recent times. Uh, the history of music down south in Napoli is is older, but quite old, is it? Oh, is it older? It's older, older. <laughs> before, uh, before that, I think that uh, when when we talk about uh, uh, the oral songs, no, hmm. uh, you you have to think of the one thousand uh, one thousand two hundred, you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one, one so what what was that music? I mean, at that time also they were uh, they were. Uh, the poets writ- wrote separately, or uh, they were they were singing and uh, composing also the texts. No, we had anonymous anonymous, uh, anonymous songs. I see. Of, uh, yes, no that's history. true. Many many that Sergio sang were anonymous. We yes, yes. Wait, we had to wait the Cinquecento, the fifth century. Hmm. The, in the fifth century, uh, we had the sixth century. We had the Villanella. That is uh, uh, written uh, the, during the period that there were the reign of the Spanish reign in Naples, uh-huh. and uh, this tradition comes from uh, the Villanella comes from Villantico. Villantico is means from Spanish, 
because the people uh, living in the royal palace and all the people of the court, uh, the, the noble, even the, the, all the, the, the nobles, they uh, like, uh, they prefer uh, all these songs, love songs, a little bit, you know, um, uh, like uh, the talks about yeah, relationships, relationships, the feelings, uh, and even uh, and even a countryside, and uh, yes, uh, yes, yes. a very beautiful uh, place where to live. Uh, uh, everyone is but happy. If you, if you listen to the song, they are very, very. Um, uh, they repeat a lot. Mm -hmm. They repeat the stanza a lot, always the same, uh, the same, the same uh, words. You know, they are a little bit annoying. You know, not not uh, yeah. not very. Yeah. Some 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 songs. It's uh, yeah. Some songs. It, it, it's interesting because there is the polyphonic voices. No, you can sing with three four voices. So this this kind of uh, music is very interesting. But the words are a little bit repetitive. You know. And and, so, uh, and the instruments that they used was uh, more similar to the Indian instruments because they did a music piano. Because it, it doesn't exist yet, no, in the in that century, and uh, the Neapolitan traditional music starts with uh, all the chords instruments, mm -hmm. like the um, uh, like the chiorba, calascione. Uh, there, there, it, it was an ancient, like an ancient guitar, mandolino after, but the chiorba was very, was used, the calascione yeah. was bigger. And uh, only chords instruments accompany this kind of music, this uh, villanelle and, uh, and of the villanelle we know the author. One of the most important of the villanelle was Orlando di Lasso and he was not Neapolitan, he came from where Amelia lives now, he was a Flamingo. He really? came from, yes, <laughs> he was a Flamingo. And he wrote, he wrote 1,400 villanelle. Wow. How do they go? Uh, uh, can you, can tired. you? I was never tired of it. <laughs> never tired. <laughs> May have been my cousin, maybe. <laughs> How does it go? Can you, uh, uh, do you remember <laughs> some villanelle? Uh, just, uh, we have to remember, remember because yeah. we don't sing, we don't, we don't sing a lot of villanelle. We used it with, for this project that Amelia and I, we create uh, to uh, preserve and to uh, uh, let uh, young people uh, discover the tradition. Mm -hmm. And so when we do this project, it is a kind of, you know, uh, lesson, uh, like kind of class uh, concert. Right, right. Uh, during this class concert, uh, we talk about all the stories. So we had. So we start from Villanella, no? Mm -hmm. We start yeah. from Villanella. We, we start from the street vendors. Yeah. Uh, so the the, the the centuries before, and then we go on with Villanella. We yeah. try to see if we we remind it, okay? Mm. <laughs> because. We, we, we try are. because it's a long time. So I, I hope if we if we forget the the words, uh, you have to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you know, I have to share some very sad news. Actually, if I can, I just got the news that uh, um, it is very unfortunate. Emperor Donald Trump uh, has been deposed. He will no longer. <laughs> <laughs> we can. So, you know, you see that. In Italy, I don't know. Trumpistan no more. I don't know if you say so it because they did the uh, the cover of the of time. Time with Trump to go. <laughs> with the cover of the magazine. Time to go with Trump. So do you do you have a, either a sad song or maybe a, a, a song of celebration? <laughs> will be the president of, uh, of the United States. Vincenzo De Luca will be the president of the United States. Soon, soon. Yes. Do you, what is the song that you sing to celebrate? Maybe we can have a celebration song of celebration to mark uh, uh, Joe Biden and uh, the first Indian American, first Indian American woman to become uh, the vice president. Imagine. Kamala Harris is a South Indian uh, American and a Jamaican American, uh, isn't it? Uh, in fact, uh, Francesca Cassio shared it. <laughs> she 
said that I didn't get the notification, but I thought okay. that I'll share. So maybe you can sing a song of celebration. <laughs> Uh, for Trump over Biden. We can sing a tamuriata that is a... Uh, yeah, to, let's to do that. Trump or uh, to celebrate Biden. Uh, we, can, we can do both. We can do a sad song uh, which, which says goodbye, <laughs> sad song for the, for the uh, expiry of uh, the, tenure, the t end of tenure of Emperor Trump of, of Trumpistan. And then we can have a celebration. No sad songs. Okay. You have uh, maybe a sarcastic song. Yes, the tamuriata that we sing. It has. Tamuriata. In a moment, in some words, said Baba Tengo. Go away. Go away. Okay. Let's let's do. That's a good one. Okay. Let's have the tamuriata. Yes. Red red hair president. Okay. Oh, We have the celebration. Go we have. Away, go away, go away, go away. <laughs> Finally. What a story, Finally really. Went. We are free from the red uh, head. <laughs> Rosso Malubino. <laughs> Rosso Malubino, it's a song about Renato Carosone. Yeah. This one was the um, um, more modern Tamuriata, no? By Ferdinando Russo. By yes. Ferdinando Russo, that was another big, big author, big, big poet. No? Very interested, Ferdinando Russo, in the Malavita, you know? People coming from them, the born of uh, this uh, sad, uh, uh, this sad uh, thing that we had in the south, but not only in the south, that is the Camorra, mm. that starts uh, uh, in that period, start uh, in the the 19th century and Ferdinando Russo was very interesting in this uh, uh, new uh, beginning of this uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, bad people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, yes, of course. And uh, he wrote uh, a volume about that because uh, he uh, went uh, inside these people, uh, um, you know, uh, dressing uh, like uh, one of them to discover the language. Because you know there is a secret language, and uh, of the, the, the so-called guapi, no guapi. You know that this uh, um, born in, uh, the origin was not so bad because it, uh, they uh, they protect uh, the uh, people that has problems from Spanish from Spanish uh, uh, 
um, uh, the Spanish monarchy and uh, all the people that work for them, you know, soldiers, the Spanish soldiers, were very violent with the Neapolitan people. So uh, they started good. And they started they, good. They lose the, the way. They start to protect uh, their people, to protect, you know, the the people that has no way to uh, uh, to, to solve uh, their yeah. problems. You know? And so they asked for for help. And mm -hmm. so. Uh, they started the fragiles. Yes, the fragiles. The, the, to protect the, the people, fragiles. The weak people. The and, and then uh, it changed, uh, it turned to other ways. You know, ways. that's the, the aim of power change always people, no? Yeah. <laughs> the first exactly. what? Human yes. race. Yeah. The you first know, what? Human beings. Be weren't race. really bad uh, people. Were people that were, were a little bit stronger than the other. And they try to, but you know, violence has always existed and all over the world. Uh, uh, people are more violent than others. So with the Neapolitan people, are not so, so uh, uh, beautiful and charming. Not, uh, not only beautiful, charming, and uh, polite. Huh? But all over the world, if you all over the world, we have the two faces, yeah, like uh, you know the like everyone. Yeah, <laughs> like everyone. everyone. <laughs> Like, like, like every part of the world, <laughs> yes. everyone, everyone. I, I, you know, I've look at that. The girls fell down. No, 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 no. <laughs> the girls. Earthquake. <laughs> you know what this is? I showed you. This is because we are really. Uh, we 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 want to show you that. This is our first. We were younger there. We are younger. <laughs> And this is our first CD. Yes. yes. I remember that. I have that. Yes. <laughs> Just like when I, when me, Maurizio, and everybody, we came uh, to the, the restaurant that you had, yes. Rondinella. This is the cover of our first CD. This is how you were at that time. Yeah. How we were, and this is the way we were. The way we were, Barbara Streisand. And this is the, the cover, you know? Yes. Because yes. when we do the present, the, we do the first, you know, the concert uh, to uh, for the CD. We did this and we put it in the theater, you know. I see. So it's a very beautiful <laughs> souvenir for us. Yes, it's beautiful. Compliments. You can put it at the back. It was looking nice. Yes, but yeah. <laughs> go down. Go down. <laughs> we try. We try to do it again <laughs> because this is not this place. Yeah, I see. In another room. I see. I see. Okay. I'm glad you. Maximum that we can do that. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we have to call uh, someone. Because your hair yeah, is yeah. My hair. So, uh, <laughs> I see. So uh, the um, yeah, I was talking about the old, you know, compositions that you mentioned about the sixth century, uh, uh, yeah. uh, etc. Uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the the oldest ones that I have uh, from again from the twelfth century, late twelfth century. Baba Sheikh Farid was a Sufi, uh, and, and that tradition, for example, is um, um, uh, is is uh, very interesting in the sense that we've uh, even the Sikh gurus. Um, they were not just the songwriters, but they also composed their music themselves. And it came, what I uh, wrote in one of my academic papers, uh, I think it was published in 2011 by Routledge, is, is, uh, when I wrote about the difference between uh, a composed song and a revealed song. A uh, composed song would be where you have poetry, um, like, you know, uh, can you, uh, Amelia, do you, just give me one line of poetry in Neapolitan. Can you say something? Yes, I. Uh, just one line. Just give me one few words. Era, one one line. Era de maggio te cadien ancina. Basta, 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 basta. Just a piece. Era. I, I, I want to remember it. Era, just give me era, one line. Era de maggio e te cadien ancina. Era de maggio. For example, if I were to. For example, now you gave me the word and I did three, yes. three, three notes, four notes. 
So this point is that this is a composed song where you gave me the word words yes. and I did the song. The other is or even I made a composition. So so this would be a, a composition, for example, not not just a variation. This would be a composed song, but what I wrote was the revealed song is when the song and the text they come together. Okay. This, for example, looking at the uh, uh, you know the ornamentation, uh, musical ornaments. Uh, I'll just hum uh, the uh, oldest compositions that I have of Baba Sheikh Farid. Uh, in fact, it, it, one of his lines is he talks about Mela. Mela is to the meeting, contro, in contro. So uh, uh, once the uh, uh, he says in uh, in that line is Duda thani na avi fir hoye na Mela. Then milk drop leaves the breast. It doesn't. There's no meeting after that. Is like a leaf that falls. Uh, there's no meeting after that. And I spoke i thought that was very befitting that this this time when we are locked down we're all separated uh, but then this life is an opportunity how do you connect so i that's how they call mela this like today's uh, your session is 153rd mela uh, it's oh. the same author from late 20th, 12th century This is for example 12 beats 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So my interest has been also to look at the ornamentation which is uh, in the composition. So when, when you mention about that there's a composer from let's say Pino Daniele in 1977 uh, my focus is always to look at how the composer is composing, what are the ornaments that yeah. he or she is using as tools to express the words, the song, that the words of the song that there are. When you mention about uh, Tamuriatta uh, Palazzola by Russo and then uh, Falvo's and from 1980, 1914, I think you mentioned. Um, in the 18th century, uh, they, the tools uh, was that, for example, the tarantella yeah. uh, first was a dance and then uh, became a, a song. For mm. example, one of the first tarantella is called the Cicerenella. Cicerenella uh -huh. is uh, uh, tarantella was a dogrella. That's I think you used to mention it's from the 17th century, is it? Yeah, yeah. Na nursery, nursery, uh, nursery rhyme. Nursery rhyme. Really? Da Gorella, you okay? Da Gorella. Why don't you sing it? Sure. Okay, let's talk. I'm, I'm, I'm in the nursery class. Would you like to sing it yeah, to me? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the the habit was that uh, all the the little, uh, you know, the children. Went in the court in the in the, uh, with, with, with the grandpa, with with a a grandpa. grandpa. or a grandpa or a grandma or a, an old uh, an old uh, woman or an old man, mm -hmm. and they were all in circle uh, bon, with uh, uh, their friends. There was no school, but bon, there was there was no school at the time, 
and uh, they listen to some uh, some uh, invented, lines, some invented lines, lines, some stories, mm -hmm. some you know uh, it was like uh, uh, it was a tradition of uh, in Naples, but not just only in Naples, even all the countryside. And the, the filastrocca Cicerella was one of these uh, filastrocca of this. Uh, uh, Dagrella, is the most famous, uh, the most famous. Uh, and the words uh, doesn't mean no uh, nothing. It's something invented, something uh, no nonsense, nonsense lines. Uh, it say Ciceranella taneva rugalla e tutte i giorni sceglieva a cavalla. Ciceranella has a cock, and every day he he went on this cock. Okay, he ride the cock like a horse. And that's not to ride the cock, okay? <laughs> so, and all the words like this. Ciceranella has a donkey, Ciceranella taneva nuciuccia e l'avia fatta un bello cappuccia. And he did him a very beautiful uh, hat, okay? Something like this. And this is a very different Neapolitan from the Di Giacomo one from Pino Daniele, because uh, if you listen to the sounds uh, in the modern Neapolitan, I say that Ciceranella taneva, Ciceranella aveva, in the, the ancient Neapolitan, they say Ciceranella uh, avea, avea lu cappuccia, avea lu ciuccia, and, and the, the articles uh, we say the Omar, Omar, in the ancient Neapolitan, they say the Lumar, Lu Yorno. Uh, the, language, language changes, the language changes, yeah. and all these uh, uh, Tarantella songs uh, of the 18th, uh, 18th century were uh, written in this way, or oh, they're anonymous, okay? And uh, Ciceranella is, uh, we want to just uh, mention... Ciceranella de neve lugalla tutta la notte c'è la cavalla E se c'è l'erba senza la sella, chi se lugalla da Ciceranella Ciceranella mia, si pone bella Ciceranella mia, si pone bella E Ciceranella de neve la ciuccia e la mia fatto un bello cappuccia Ma non teneva le osse ne pelle, chi se non ciuccia da Ciceranella Ciceranella mia, si pone bella Ciceranella mia and so on. Okay? And uh, when he say about the donkey, he say that the donkey has no bones and no lead, he has nothing, it doesn't exist. <laughs> It's uh, a donkey with, with no uh, skin. Uh, yeah, it and, uh, was a nonsense to make nonsense children laugh. Nonsense to make or, children uh, laugh. Okay. To have fun. And, and then by this, uh, Tarantella, someone arrives and says, okay, let's uh, put the music of Tarantella in it. I and see. so, Ciceranella. So this was the tools. And there is another word, this is called the Michele Ma, uh -huh. that is the first, the first Tarantella ever, uh, written. ever written. And Michele Ma is about the Turkish people that came here, and uh, they went uh, before they went to Ischia and uh, to rest after a long journey. But Ischia was uh, quite disabled; it was there was no inhabitants or a lot, very few one. And then they come to Naples and they uh, steal all the girls. Okay was ever uh, something very frightened. That's why we have all those castles, okay? With the to towers. To, to save the girls. <laughs> no, so, yes. And Michel and Ma was uh, about that. And I it's see. the first Tarantella. I see. So uh, can you, uh, that's the, uh, that's from uh, Michel, it's, I think from the 1500s, yes. Uh, that's a very old one. No, Michele Ma is uh, the, the, always the 70, the 17th uh, uh, century. In I see, so 1600s, I see. I thought it was the 16th century. Ah, okay, yes, yes, the 600th century, yes. 60, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, would, would, can you share that? Yes, of course. Yes. And now the mies of our Michel and Ma, Michel and Ma, and now the mies of 
It's very, very long, a lot of stanzas, so... <laughs> yeah, sing, sing. I, I'm okay with that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Chi va la scimmia e chi Michele ma, Michele ma. Chi va la scimmia e chi Michele ma, Michele ma. La nostra pona, la nostra pona, la nostra pona, la nostra pona. Piano rilla manta Michele ma, Michele ma. Fa fa murilla manta Michele ma, Michele ma. Aduia duia, aduia duia. Aduia duia, aduia duia, biata chi la vence Michele ma, Michele ma, biata chi la vence Michele ma, Michele ma, custa viola, custa viola, custa viola, custa viola, Michele ma is something that I want to, it doesn't mean, it's not, it's a very, uh, everyone says something about that. But one of the stories about this song was that was uh, the, the mother of this girl, Michaela, Michaela that was uh, that was so crying, desperate, that desperate, was so desperate. Yeah, desperate and crying and uh, saying louder the name of uh, his, uh, her, 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 daughter. her daughter, Michaela, mamma, Michaela, a mamma, mother, uh, Michaela, yeah. mamma. One of the one of the story about the the title. We don't know. That. We don't know if it's uh, is completely true. There are different. I see. It's a legend. I see. Uh -huh. No, it's not a legend. We don't know. Different don't interpretation. Know. <laughs> that is one of the most. Uh, uh, I think one of the most uh, probably because Michele ma Michela a mamma Michela ma in ancient Neapolitan. You know. I see. So maybe that. Hmm. And um, and uh, for example, another meaning is that the the line said, "E nata mi e suo mare, oi nasce Carola." In uh, the center, in the center of the uh, in the heart of the sea, um, born uh, as Carola is the island because the, inhab the, the inhabitants of Ischia were called Iscarioti. Iscarioti. Uh -huh. So Scarola is the ancient Ischia because you know if you see Ischia, Ischia is like a, uh, a salad, shape, shape like a salad. <laughs> yes. So a Scarola is a, a kind of vegetable yeah. that we have so green. Very green. Very it's green. Very green. Huh? green <laughs> yes. A lot of uh, if you go if you go to search uh, all lot the legends, stories. a lot of stories. I about. see. And we tell all these stories to the children and to the pupils, even uh, not so uh, little one, from the uh, primary school to the university. We did this uh, class concert. Another, um, another very uh, nice thing to um, to underline of the, this our tradition that is, um, you know, you are seeing that is a very very big tradition because we can. We can go on for hours to uh, to talk about it. I have all the hours that you need. Yeah, it was, it was, it, it's very complicated to choose, no? But we chose. Yes. We had to choose because we, <laughs> this choice uh, was difficult, but we did yeah. it. And, um, we want to uh, we want to tell you this thing that is very beautiful. We want to talk about this uh, this month that uh, sometimes it happens that in uh, a lot of songs it appears. Mm? Mm -hmm. That is May, Maggio. Okay, in a I lot see. of Neapolitan songs... The there month is of May, month. interesting. So, yes, the month, of, the month of May. A lot of authors, a lot of poets put these words in the song because uh, probably for the for the weather for for the spring is it the time of the spring? Yes, for the spring oh, for the okay. virgin for mm. Mary the Virgin uh -huh. uh, for the because was the month was this mm. month this particular month is the month is of the, the month virgin. of the virgin it's the month of the virgin in Naples and uh, it means the um, and also it means love it means rebirth it means a lot of things so I a see. lot of po uh, poets put these words and it became it became really 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 wonderful one of the some of them were the the most beautiful songs ever written in Portugal because it was there um, they are melodic songs you know but there are really really poems if uh, translating everything is complicated 
but probably now we um, we sing these two songs that are this that are uh, from two different periods, written by two different authors, so okay. a songwriter, Pino Daniele, that we talk about. Um, you mentioned uh, about the one you sang yeah. in the beginning. And uh, we mentioned before, and uh, this song is called Maggio se ne va, may go, goes away. Yes, okay. And um, the other song is uh, of the um, 1900, that oh, is of okay. Vicenzo, so they called Il Poeta di Fiori, they called him Il Poeta di Fiori, the flowers poet in Censo Russo. Uh, he, he has a very, very short life. He, uh, he died in, uh, at 30. And so, sure. but in these 30 years, they, they, his production is very, very, uh, is very, very huge. He uh, wrote a lot of beautiful songs. One of, the most, one one of, the, of most the most beautiful. important is Ita I don't it's know if uh, Ita Buriyamasa is very, sure. very... Mm. Aga bell'aria fresca, caddore malva rosa, e tu durmene stai, o pasti fronne rosa, o sola poca poca, Astu giardina sponta, o viento passa e passa, scuricciuli l'anfronta. I would like to kiss you. Ia taburria vasa, ia taburria vasa. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> when I listen to Amelia, I listen to my father again. Really? <laughs> that is so sweet, yes. yes. It was so difficult to... I know. Uh, well, very difficult, because he was our friend, our maestro, yeah. our marvelous father. Yeah. We had a wonderful time with him. Mm. It's uh, unforgettable. <laughs> but is he here tonight? Yeah. Is he here with us? Yes, he absolutely. <laughs> You want to you want to see him? He's Absolutely. He's for you. He's sitting yes. with us. We can deserve a picture near us uh, for uh, before uh, starting the interview because he has to sit with us. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> And Amelia is uh, has uh, his voice. Yeah, the, this this sustenance, you know, your dad is known for that uh, the pulita, as we say, the subtle the the sustenance of the breath. I mean, I, I it was just like uh, uh, looking at the portrait of your dad when I was listening to this song. Yeah, that is so absolutely I, fantastic. I learned, I learned everything from from him, you know, and I I love. I love very much his way of singing, and so is is very very emotional for me. And so, <laughs> as he told me, as he teach me, when I sing, I I try to leave the song. Yeah. I try to leave, really leave yeah. the song that I sing. So uh, I try to feel everything, you and know, they, and to transmit it. And, and so they both, uh, and they both love the same poets, yes. Salvatore and Giacomo, love. Vincenzo Russo. They both love that. And uh, me, I came from the other side of the family because you know that, uh, you know, because I told you, because you have uh, my interview recorded, <laughs> my and my mom's interview. I would like to see it yes. once. <laughs> because we worked in this interview yes. with, my, with my father and yeah. uh, you with me. We, I yeah. was 
starting to tell you all the history about my family. And the other side of our family is a, a family coming from theater, okay? And they were actor and actress and singer too, but mm. they were actor and actress playing and singing on the stage in a different, you know that we have a very big tradition of musical theater, okay? Mm. Raffaele Viviani wrote lines, he was a poet, he was a, a musician without uh, knowing music. Uh, Raffaele Viviani invents okay, music, just uh, a lot of uh, uh, Neapolitan poets uh, wrote the music without knowing them, knew, knew it. For example, uh, Salvador Gambardella was uh, another one. And so I came from that tradition. So I like, other, I, I really love Salvatore Di Giacomo, Vincenzo Russo, but my, I prefer to sing that songs where I have to be an actress too, you know, where I have to interpret her, okay? And I, I, I feel more like that. I feel more like uh, uh, this kind of uh, musical tradition and uh, musical theater that is a, a very important part of our history in uh, Na Naples. Mm -hmm. There and is always theater and music together. So you know? it's very important. Yeah. To, uh, it's the same. It's one and the same. Yeah. yeah. And so my fa my ha my grand our grandfather was a rondinella and was a singer, but our grandmother was a sportelli and was she an was actress. actress. She was an actress. Mm -hmm. So they uh, uh, they get married, and uh, in uh, our blood, in our DNA, there is uh, there both is the traditions. <laughs> and then uh, we feel it. I feel that. I feel uh, the two bloods. Yeah, I feel the two bloods. <laughs> two bloods of women. That's why I, I, it's, too, it's too much sometimes, but it's okay. Two bloods. <laughs> we, we, uh, we, we have, have a double veins. Double veins. The grandmother veins <laughs> and the grandfather veins is something. And my mother too, even if my mother is not an artist, but she's, she's an artist in other way. <laughs> and so uh, coming coming back from where where we were, uh, so Itago di Avassa was this, this song of this... The Chantus. first one, that is the Pino Daniele's yes. song that she yes. sang. For, uh, fantastic, and, uh, very well sung. And then uh, the Torna Maggio. <laughs> Tornamaggio is another song and... And it's like very interesting, one is Seneva and Tornamaggio is coming back. Yes, yeah, so of course, I wish for, for this so reason. Torna, Torna Maggio, Maggio is coming, yes. amazing. And here it comes, I mean, Maggio has yeah, arrived, yeah. no? They put it together because they are very different. Uh, Maggio Seneva is very, is melancholic uh, song. I see. Because uh, Maggio gone away and... Uh, uh, is uh, Pino Daniele say the we I, I translated the lines before singing a bit. This is like a prayer because uh, he said he wrote these wonderful lines. Uh, say we are we that are searching God. We uh -huh. come dia. We are always naked. Stamava sempre nuda. Okay. We are we are forever naked. We are forever naked. We are searching for God. We are looking for God. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I start to sing, and after maybe I translate other lines, but the, it's a prayer, okay? We got a comedy, stam of a sam banur, we got a comedy, non si ma mai a sicura, e non ci abbasta niente. Chi una massa ben un si ma mai contento, e tanto già sanno va, ci resto fritto ma qualcosa a lei, ma già sanno va, avanzo bello, rosa che belli rose torna maggio. Santi t'adore chi sti sciura bella, santi ta gomma canta nauciella, e voi dormite ancora, e che coraggio, aprite sta fanesto e bella fata, Calla, riaggia, se fa.
e voi dormite ancora e che coraggio rosa che belli rosa e torna maggio different song but full of uh, one, full of passion one, full of yeah, one talk about country. god about the searching of god and the searching of love uh, because you know that in napolitan we don't say i love you we don't say te voglio bene we don't use the word love ti amo. It's not we ti don't amo, say i love you we say te voglio bene e pino daniele in the song say we that are searching for God and then we that are searching for love. Okay, we are never sure. Instead of Vincenzo Russo, say the ro roses, what a beautiful roses. Maggio is coming back. Two different way of feeling the, the month of May. Maybe Pino Daniele was, uh, <laughs> even if he was uh, in the contemporary moment. period, maybe feel the month of the Virgin, of Maria, you know? Because uh, we are looking for love, we are looking for God in the month of the Virgin, in the month of the May. And uh, May is going away. Uh, something, uh, there is still some cold, uh, yeah, he said. There is still some cold, but something is, can be uh, beautiful, something can be merry, can be uh, different in our lives. So it's a prayer, it's a prayer. My well, microphone was off. Yeah, this is uh, uh, wonderful. I was saying that, that this is from 1900, from the year 1900. Is it? That's like 120 years old. And uh, the sustenance, you know, the the andolit, the swaying uh, sustenance, is very beautifully kept. Um, can you sing that line again, Amelia, the one towards the end that you sang? Uh, the, the, the last line? Yeah, the last lines, yeah. Rosa Gapa, this one. Yeah, yeah. Rosa Gapa, Rosa, et torna maggio. And the beginning one, if you can sing, Francesca, I just I want to show to the ah, uh, musicians. The, the, this yeah. is the ending, yeah, the one, the one, the, the song beginning. where it rested and the one where it began, yeah. The beginning of mine was... Uh, Fantastic. So I just wanted to see, uh, wanted to share with everyone, look at the, the way they, compo they are composed, it's extraordinary. I mean, it's universal how the advent, how the, uh, you know, the beginning is, the udat, the, where the song arrives, and yeah. then uh, when the story rests, with samagam ditan, as we call it, the, the, the ending patterns of his song the mel and the ending melody. How it, it's like uh, awakening uh, a melody from silence and sustaining it uh, to say uh, that which needs to be said, or that is desired to be shared, to be expressed, and then to put it to rest. Uh, yes. There's a whole, there's an entire etiquette which this, this uh, composer's uh, work actually uh, it, it reveals, yeah. you know, but brings that, forth so beautifully. Yeah, it, it happens and it happened when we, Amelia, during the concert, now for in this moment, uh, we are suffering, all the world is suffering, and we artists uh, are, can do our work. I'm very glad that I can sing uh, tonight with my sister, because uh, we planned to do a new uh, record, a new CD, and uh, we, are, we can't, because uh, there is all the problems that are 
here in the world, but uh, more more important if you want. But you know, for us uh, as artists, singers, actors, it's our life, it's our work, you know? So it's difficult to be like this uh, still and wait for, uh, uh, we don't know how, how many, how, how long, uh, and uh, not to do our, uh, not to be on the theater, on theaters, in theaters, on yeah. the stage. It's difficult. It's yeah. something that uh, maybe people can't really understand uh, how much is difficult for an artist not to do his work. But we know that there is uh, more important problems and we are happy and we hope that everything will uh, solve in the better way. Anyway, to say that is that it, for us it's very fascinating to see how time no, in the Neapolitan song, in the Neapolitan music, uh, doesn't exist because uh, it happened that some, uh, the audience, the, the people that came to our concert, after came, you know, to uh, say hello, they want to know us, and they told us about some song, modern songs, uh, they ask, but when it has been written? And we say, it has been written in the, now, it is by Pino Daniele or by other older contemporary one that we choose. Because it seems, it's, it seems an ancient song, no? it's, you know? Uh, it's like, it sounds like, so... Uh... <clears throat> it's absolutely fantastic. Um, this is beautiful. And uh, um, is it like a, a month of May, for example, is to do with spring as we have Basant, for example, Bahar. Uh, it is to do with the bloom of earth. It is the entire mother nature is in bloom in that region. Do you have uh, songs, uh, traditional songs, which are, um, uh, which are, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, to do with other seasons as well? Yes, yeah, there is a, a very beautiful song about uh, winter that is called Vierna. It's March. very, very sad. Marzo by Salvatore Di Giacomo. Uh, that's called, it's called the Catari. And he said about Marzo. March. I see. March. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, the winter, this, this song is called Vierna. It's very sad. Very uh -huh. sad. But it said, Vierna. Gafrid in Tastugara, Esur tu gamma boda galora, tu stai lontane non te fai vedere, tu stai lontane non te pure me. Very sad. The words are: You are so far, and you don't think about me. You don't. Uh, you don't want me more. It's it's very sad song. A lo sad love song. Winter, what a cold in my heart. I Vierna, see. Here, like a it's winter. Mm. Marzo, poi autunno. There is a wonderful uh, singer uh, that Amelia and my father said. My father this sang and Amelia. Yes. My I father see. teach her yes. to sing. Is autunno for. Which one? Uh, I can I can listen to it. I cry. Eh? Yes. <laughs> yes. Don't worry if I cry. Eh? Yes. This is this is called autumn. Of it's course. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I hope to remember. I hope to no, remember no, what that. Um, no, no, okay. Okay. Chiovazza funna, ninetta mia, e ottobre cosa vienna mare, giuranata fredda, buttata mare, Sempre aspettando che una parola, una, una sola, ma vanessa te, ma vanessa. Wow. And this is very interesting, uh, very 
uh, a po when he said, uh, forse l'autunno, maybe it's autumn that uh, make me feel so sad. It's October, but it looks like winter already. It's fantastic. Wow. The, the love, when you are in love, and uh, you are not uh, in love, the other people, the, 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 the other doesn't love you. Yeah. And uh, he said, it's autumn, autumn it's not, in Naples autumn it's not a cold uh, season. <laughs> but he said, it's uh, autumn, uh, it's October, but for me it's winter in my heart. Uh, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. and, and there are a lot of uh, songs about, uh, there is a tamurriata, that is called the Tamurriata d'Autunno, Autumn Tamurriata. I see. It's a sad Tamurriata because uh, usually the Tamurriate are uh, happy, okay, are not uh, in rhythm, rhythm uh, you know. And this is a very sad Tamurriata, Autumn Tamurriata. Um, no, I think we're. Uh, no, Jai Karu the work of Ron the Drasa Stade Mare. I don't remember. Jai Karu the work of Ron the Mare Stade Drasa Dun, the Gashabach and Gop of Moon, the Sensei. Mamma Kianya, my Nunkianya, he's too kind of brute to say, Navatura and Gulame. Cacadena, Cacadena, to Masta. I don't remember the words, it's uh, I think 20 years that I don't sing the this song. The movement of the song, but you know, the, the piano does, it's does like this. It's like, it's like, and this is the the is one of the most known of her, but these songs are not the one more uh, the best one uh, in, in for example Libero Bovio, they know Guaparia, Lagrama Napolitana. Uh, help me, other titles by Bovio, Reginella, these are called Autunno, the one Amelia sang, Tamurriata d'Autunno, are uh, the same poets, but not the best known, you know, I but see. for us, are superior to that ones, you know, less music, as lines. Uh, and you know, it's because they wrote a lot. A lot of songs, so it's normal that at, at a point there is something that is more famous than the other because it's a uh, very big uh, uh, have, you, have you ever heard about uh, Guaparia? It's the most uh, important Napolitan song. Was a masterpiece of my father. Okay, it's a very uh, main song. Yeah, main. so sing it for me. No, why just one two words? Come on, that. I know my guaparia. It's not my my. It's it's a male. It's a male. It's a male song. It doesn't mean that just because your dad's not there to sing no, for me, that you cannot no. sing for me. Come on, you can. You're an actor. You're an actor singer. You can pretend to be a man. No, I can't sing it, but I never did it, so I don't know how. To, I don't. Come remember. on, maybe Amelia. Do you remember how your dad sang? Okay, Come on, and my father was masterpiece. <laughs> No, but there is another, this is Guapo, he was a Guapo, you see, we mentioned the Guapi. Mm. And he said, cacciata menna rinta su gita. You, we, you have to, uh, I, I have to be uh, pro 
brought back from the Societa, the Sugita was uh, the one we told you, okay, the Camorra, the origin. <laughs> but there is another song by Libero Bobbio that I love. It is A Serenate Pulla Chanella. was another masterpiece, my father's masterpiece. I love to sing this song. Ser Pulcinella Serenade, okay? It's about a man that was a guapo, mm -hmm. so in love with this girl, and uh, he became nothing in her hands. He, lo he lost all his strength, and uh, he hides in a garden, and he starts to sing. Caso sempi a gacer che scusa te, la voglia tanto bene, la voglia tanto bene, tutti che zitto, 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 che si alluca a gente, che non sa niente, può sentire, la voglia bene. Ma metto scorne fa sapere alla miscia, cating, cating, catorno, e faccia pace, sia pure a gente, Napoli che dice, che a me voglia fa fa, sotto a chi sto occhio ci vede t'infamità, da voglia tanto bene. You know the words he said, I say I love you. But I say so silently that no one can hear me. Fantastic. <laughs> really I love this song. Fantastic. This is another song uh, my father always sing when I was a little girl. I see. There was uh, a lot of songs that make me, uh, you know, moved when my father sing this one. As an Anatevulationella, Guaparia, because I was afraid that uh, he was. Uh, uh, he can't arrive to can't the arrive to high notes. <laughs> I, was, I was afraid, I was in the audience. <laughs> and I looked to everyone, you know, in the theater to see the faces and the expression, if, he, if they are liking it or not liking it. It was, it was funny. And I said, oh, you know, it was not what a guapparia, it was a voce notte, very uh, difficult okay. song. And I said, oh, he, he can do it or he can't, you know. <laughs> I was very afraid of that. He made it. He made it. He made, <laughs> he made it. it. He always made it. <laughs> See what happens? Uh, some, some, uh, some. It can happen that something goes wrong when you sing because sometimes the voice is uh, is inside of you. you know? so if you are uh, like this, if you have some problems of larynx, so you have no voice. It happens yeah. that you can. No, sometimes you can he, had, he had the problem with the lines. Uh, with the lines, uh, not uh, with, with, words, with, with words. words, with the lines of the songs, mm. uh, with the words. And uh, sometimes when uh, we start to sing together, uh, uh, Amelia, him and I, uh, we were on his back. He <laughs> 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 said, suggest me if I remind him, if I don't remind <laughs> And we were on his back. And we're <laughs> <laughs> Telling him the words, yes. <laughs> He was uh, such a beautiful are, soul. What a beautiful man he was, yeah. <laughs> sometimes on the stage it happens and so funny things. I can, I never forgot the universe, <laughs> Amelia and I. We we sang Mare Chiaro for each years, night. each yeah. night. We go, we start singing this song. Both of us. Why? No. How it go on? Completely, completely. <laughs> the both of us. Lost the the audience start to laugh. To laugh because no, because they laugh. know us. We laugh because we couldn't go on. Because we laugh. we start again. We forgot. <laughs> It's a song that we sing going. And so, and so we, we go, we went directly 
basically on the end of the song on the high notes. <laughs> 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 because we can't we laugh because we, on the stage if you start laughing yeah, between performers, you, you can't stop. Yeah. You can't stop. You have to think to stop. And then your sisters. <laughs> It's funny because sometimes it's, uh, even the singers are human beings. So <laughs> no, no, not always. Cannot, sometimes, <laughs> only because sometimes they are human beings. <laughs> sometimes, after they, they think the audience sometimes think that you uh, you don't do uh, nothing goes wrong, that you are always yeah. on top. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. And when we, and when we sing with uh, with Papa uh, was uh, was funny because I ha I have a very humor. You know you know me. I uh, sometimes I, I like to joke <laughs> to do tricks. And, and on the stage when while we uh, sing and we uh, joke in, even with the audience uh, because in Giru Girula was a very for me was a kind of atmosphere. They respect our. Art, but there was any way we talk with the audience. So we like to talk, to tell stories. My father tells about uh, uh, his life uh, uh, other things. And uh, and I sometimes, you know, say something funny, and we start laughing. The three of us. Was <laughs> so because I, I I'm bad, you know. I say something that I didn't plan to say, and my father starts to laugh. He said, "You make me laugh." <laughs> Even life was like that. Yeah. When I was a little bit sad, he said, "No, you don't have to be sad because you make me laugh." Because it's like like a comedian and laughter, you know. Yeah. I start and I say something not not planned, and he said, "You remind me my uncle uh, because they <laughs> play with Eduardo de Filippo, yeah. uh, you know, and they." Each night they start from a comedy and they insert, change, change insert things, yeah. invent, uh, and so each night they have to write again the, <laughs> you know, the the story and uh, because uh, they invent and I'm like this. Mm. But guess. also, you know, you're talking of your uncle who was an outstanding singer, very famous actually. Of course, very famous. Giacomo, famous no? My father, more famous than my father because they had the twelve. Years, my uh, Giacomo was uh, 12 years older than him. He was older, yes, yes. The records from you remember something from him, Giacomo? Uh, but he sang the, the, nothing, the, the, the nothing, song, nothing. yes, the, the most important song that he sings is Mala Femmina, that is um, a song yeah. of Toto. Yes. You know Toto. Yes. So Toto wrote this song and uh, he thought about, he, thought he called Zio uh, Giacomo and he told him, I, I want you to sing that song. And so he was the first interpreter of this song. Wow. So he was famous for, for this, but yeah. he, well, he, he don't write the songs. He sang the song, he, mm. he sang classic song and all. Yeah. But he was the first one who sang this song, uh, Malafemena, and to, uh, to to take it um, of a, a big, big, big success. Yeah. yeah. Um, Can you sing that? Would you, would you like to share? It will be wonderful yes. to remember your uncle as well. Uh, he made a lot. He made a lot of movies. But I know he was. He was a film star and a singer. Quite know, and a very, star. very handsome man. Quite a, quite a heartthrob. Your dad told me. <laughs> and he was very famous in America too. Uh, he, li oh, he lived there for a while. Yes. I see. That I didn't know. I see. Oh, yes, yes. But your dad but told me he was quite a heartthrob. Right. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, we can we can sing a little bit of this song if you want. Yeah, yeah it would be fantastic to remember him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Onesta gomma me, femmana, tu si na mala femmana, chi stu occhi è fatta chi agnera, lacrama infamità, femmana, si ti tu peggia na vipera, men tu seccata l'anima, Non pozze più campa, femmana si dolce con mo zucchero, però sta faccia d'angela, da serba panganna, femmana, 
tu sia più bella femmina, la voglia bene tu Dio, ma chi ne può scordare? Wow, 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 wow. Antonio De Curtis, the most, uh, one of the best actor yes. ever lived, Totò. <laughs> I love Totò. My father loved Totò. My father, I see. During the night, he was uh, in search on the TV, the Totò's movie, to, uh, because he loves uh, Totò. And uh, I would like, Baldito, because you mentioned uh, Zio Giacomo. Yeah. Uh, to read uh, this uh, Amelia and I when we um, write uh, when we write concerts when we decide we uh, more than write we write you know the idea of the concert we uh, search for things we had to go to Moscow for that concert Amelia say the name of the theater because I don't uh, <laughs> pronounce it well I speak Russian no I, I don't speak, speak Russian. Russian anymore but ah, you studied it, it. <laughs> yes, you studied I studied it. It, uh, oh really I see yes, yes at university but I don't speak anymore I I captive as a wood stop we have been in this theater we have been in the Galina Vishnevskaya theater and uh, when we went to this theater, we decided to start reading something in Italian because we have an uh, half audience was Italian, half Russian. We decided to read uh, these lines by Ettore Giannini. Ettore Giannini was the first director that made a movie about the history of the town lied to the Neapolitan song. Mm -hmm colored movie and this was one of the first film of uh, movie on Sergio Giacomo with I Sofia see. Loren, Paolo Stoppa, it was called the Carosello Napoletano, I the Napoletan Council, <laughs> was uh, all over the world and uh, we uh, translated it into Russian and Amelia at that time was uh, when I studying <laughs> and so he, uh, I read it in Italian and I Amelia see. one yes. line in Italian, one line in Russian. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Can you imagine when we go on the stage we have already won <laughs> that night. <laughs> we can even have bad, bad voices, awful voices because yeah. Russian were <laughs> they, they listen to this uh, Italian voice uh, speaking Russian. Anyway, this is uh, it translated in, in, uh, to uh, English. Naples has been singing for ages, in every time, at all events. Naples has a song to exalt its joys and beauties, to comfort its sorrows and miseries. Words governments, misfortunes, triumphs, invasions, liberations, everything comes to an end. Naples lasts forever, still and timeless. Is life a theater and Naples laughs, applauds, yawns, whistles and sings in its most famous songs of all time there is its portraits and some of its history Ettore Giannini by the press book of Carosello Napoletano I see, I see it's very very true this <laughs> we find them and in the, at the beginning of the movie he wrote, yes, wrote only the last, the last lines only the last uh -huh. one in its um, uh, most famous star songs there is uh, its history and uh, Okay, and he starts the movie with uh, all the, the centuries. Mm -hmm. uh, if you see the movie, you can find it uh, on the web. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the whole movie. Carosello Napoletano. A lot of uh, things that we talk tonight, Cicerenella, Michele yes, Ma, the Turkish, find you find everything there. <coughs> because it's the story of the town uh, through, the, their, through their music, through their songs. Mm -hmm. Till this is the this image of Tarantella fantastic, 
dancers, uh, uh, musicians, uh, actors, uh, singers. So it was a, it's a, like musical. a musical. He, like he was musical. a genius. He is, he's considered a genius because it was uh, the first uh, colored movie. It's uh, like American movie, you know? It uh, was something. It, you you see it and then you will tell, uh, tell us. I see. I see. And uh, to, to uh, talk of uh, uh, your grand... Uh, you know, your uncle, yes, but your, you mentioned about your grandpa and your grandmother. Uh, yes. Do you remember something from your grandma? What was her name again? Allora, my, my, our grandfather was called Francesco. In art, Francesco uh, in art he was called Cicillo. was his art name. Cicillo. It's a Neapolitan name. He was a Neapolitan singer. And then he was uh, uh, an actor uh, during the 50, uh, do you know, the 40. Uh, in uh, a lot, in some movies, um, he was uh, quite uh, known as an actor. Not Neapolitan movies, uh, Italian movies. Oh. With uh, we we have uh, we have some uh, uh, posters, uh, old posters. I see. Uh, yes, uh, you you saw it. Yeah, I know. We in fact, so, I had to scan them. I forgot to bring. Yeah. I, I was supposed to bring them sometime. We'll do that. Uh, also, the audio restoration of your dad and your uh, uncle. Yes. Uh, to uh, talk, my, my point was about your grandmother as well. You mentioned that she came from the musical theater. Do you remember something from her? What was her name? Uh, uh, she, she, well, her name was Maria. I Maria. See. Mm -hmm. Maria Sportelli. And uh, his brother also, his brother also was very famous, and he, he participated to uh, one of the most famous uh, Toto film, uh -huh. <laughs> Cici, uh, yeah, um, uh, Miseria e Nobiltà. It was a very famous, uh, very famous uh, theatrical uh, comedy, but it was also a film. So <laughs> it's in a theater and also in cinema. I was yes. very, very, very famous our, actor and yeah. our grandmother. Too. Our grandmother starts with his father, that was Giacomo yes. Sportelli, because mm. uh, 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 Giacomo Sportelli was an actor and as his company, that was called uh, Sportelli Company. And uh, he had uh, uh, my uh, grandmother, uh, three sisters and uh, Franco Sportelli. There were five children and uh, um, all of them start to play, to act with uh, their father. Very little. They were children like that. Mm -hmm. Even my grandmother. Uh, after see. my grandma uh, started to work with the one of the best, uh, uh, Armando Gil, was uh, very important, uh, was like a theater where you sing, you act, and she starts there. And then she was, uh, she works even with Raffaele Viviani, uh, so very important. And then she made uh, even some movies. Uh, uh, but then we, she had seven, seven children. And you so, know there is a, there is an anecdote that is very very funny because you know that at that time the um, the, the, the the shows uh, lasts very very long time. So they stay in a in a city in a town even for five six months. I so uh, she had seven. Seven, uh, seven sons and daughters, and they were born in different places. No, so Gio Giacomo <laughs> was born in Messina, in Sicily. I so, because uh, uh, it lasts very, very yeah. long time, so yeah, they lived there for six, seven months. Because, and they yes, children, of course, because yeah. they they, uh, they go around with the uh, train yes. uh, and with uh, boats, and it was uh, so long. It was so long to so get to, to Sicilia. Yeah. To get to, to Sicilia was a long it takes journey. Days. It takes days. A long, so, long uh, journey. It was not like the, uh, today. So she was pregnant, uh, and she starts to be pregnant. She was one month pregnant, and maybe she arrived at nine months pregnant. <laughs> and you know, they have, they had also a hard time because uh, you know they lived in the in the period also of the, the Second World War. Second World War, yes, it was a very yes, difficult they, time. You know, at the end of the at, the at the end of the war, they have a very very hard time because I remember that my father told me yeah. that. Uh, at 11 years old, they started to work because they, wow. they were nine first. Our father, had, uh, our father had wow. a very poor uh, yes, child, 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 child. You know, they had the, the toilet out, out of the, mm. the house on the, um, on, the, on the terrace, you know, on the little bath. They had the toilet. Yeah, and, and he told us that it was so cold in the morning. 
and uh, he told us they were seven, seven children. And uh, my grandma has to uh, do to cook during the war with the powder of uh, haricots. Mm -hmm. The powder of haricots, mm -hmm. not the haricots, the powder. I see. Because uh, they were very poor. And our fa uh, he, la he left school very early. He started to, and he suffered because he liked to study. Mm -hmm. He liked very much to study. And even his brother, the but, brothers uh, and sisters. They were poor. poor. They were poor, mm -hmm. so he started to work. He did a lot of works, a lot of kind of works. And then uh, when she, he was a, uh, a boy, uh, something went better, and uh, our uncle were fa was famous, uh, and, and so he so started, he started his, his career. His career I started to study. So that was a started, recovery from the theater company yes, to come back started, to the. He started to to study to study Italian to mm. study book alone because he wanted he don't he doesn't want to be ignorant. He wanted to be. Uh, he wanted to study, so he, he left school when he was a child, but after he recovered this time uh, studying uh, alone. He studied English, he studied uh, yeah. all alone, all alone. All alone. Because he liked very much to sing in the uh, different kind of uh, genres. Now he, he liked to sing uh, in English, in French, all the famous songs of the evening, no? Really? Do you remember? Yes. Why didn't you share something from your dad in English and French? It'll be fantastic. He sang also in the Opera de Paris. Opera de Paris. Really? He sang there. No? Yes, but because my father, that's why I say that wow. our uncle was most famous, more famous than him. Because when my father started singing, uh, he belonged to a family of <laughs> Neapolitan tradition, but in that time, uh, Neapolitan tradition was beginning to be, uh, you know, not so strong as before. Uh, they are coming out, you know, Domenico Modugno, uh, all those um, Italian song was beginning to be stronger than Neapolitan. Yeah, Neapolitan. And, and our father, that was not because it was our father, was a very clever man, was a very intelligent one, mm -hmm. smart. He. Uh, he was able to look at what's going to happen I in see. everything, yeah? in all the words he did. And uh, he said to his father, I don't want to sing a Neapolitan song. I want to sing Italian song. I want to sing American song. I have to go abroad. Mm -hmm. And the father was very sorry about that. I he see. said, do you belong to our family? Why do you want to leave? So this thing... Uh, Stopped him stopped a little, a little bit. bit because he didn't want to let his father suffer, I and see. so he went to Opera de Paris. He, uh, he sang French songs, he French Gilbert Beco song uh, with the Gilbert Beco in the theater on the stage. On the wow. stage. <laughs> really? They told him you have to 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 be to stay here mm. in the same period, the same period of Jacques Brel. They, they, he had a, 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 success, a huge success. All the audience, uh, and, and Gilbert Beco said, you have a wonderful voice. You, you have a, a wonderful pronunciation because he studied the English, French, because he wanted to be, when he sang, he has, and when we were child, he said, you want to sing in Neapolitan, you have to learn our Neapolitan language. You have to study the grammar with me. The, don't, don't list, don't, read the line without having studied it before mm. okay because you have to, to pronounce and we, in all the languages mm. if you have to face if you have to amelia and i we don't sing you know we don't sing only neapolitan song we sing yeah. french songs we sing uh, american one a spanish one but we study polish it one <laughs> polish also american. really yes, yes because my husband has also uh no, no. As, uh, well. as also uh, <laughs> Polish origins. His grandfather was Polish, but oh, he's I Italian. see. I see. Yes, and so I like very much these songs of uh, Kaya Bregovic. Oh. Uh, there are uh, Kaya, this is a, a Polish singer. She's a Polish, a Polish singer that made this album with uh, Bregovic. And so um, all the, some of Bregovic's songs in Polish. I see. So it's, but you know, I, I'm reminded of, uh, we'll come to that, uh, Sunanda Sharma is one of uh, our very dear friends who uh, studied with uh, uh, one of the great Indian uh, maestro, uh, maestros, uh, Girija Devi, who was from the Banaras tradition. 
And I'm reminded of, you know, talking of language, learning the language and the culture. She was also mentioning in, one of the, in her session that when she went to Banaras to study, to Varanasi, you know, her teacher uh, told her to actually study the language, local language, the customs and even, even cuisines, you know, how to make certain, certain dishes from Varanasi. <laughs> So that that's, uh, you know, uh, reminds me of that, that it's not just, uh, you have to make it your own. You cannot just be aping it, trying to copy it. You have to, yes, you know, it, it has to uh, be inside. It has to be part of your yes, DNA. And that was difficult because when you sing in another language, even your voice changes a little bit, no? Yeah. Because uh, the, the phonetics changes, yeah. the diction changes. And so you have to... <laughs> You have to enter in this mm. new kind of moving the mouth inside the the sounds for Slavian sounds. You know this Polish, Russian has some some uh, some sounds that are so different as Indian. No, it's, it's completely different the sounds that you can produce. It's uh, you know I even it's another sing, way of singing. I even sing in Sanskrit when I do the mantra yoga. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How does it go? To, uh, uh, share something. Oh, yeah. So with you, I never die. With never die, you correct me. I, I, in private, then you correct me, and then I will uh, sing in public. No, with but, you, uh, I <laughs> never. No, I respect. Well, so, I respect. No, that's your only kind. You, you will give me lessons. Yeah, and yeah. Then I will sing. Oh, so. oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is very. So. Oh. Uh, Yes, that's the only one. That's just one word. Uh, oh, yeah. I am. The other word, the only word that I don't have the courage to say because I think that I can do something not okay. good. So, no, I respect. So, uh, Emilia, you would, uh, you know, we have many friends from uh, Poland. In fact, uh, your very dear friend, the pianist, the pianist who played with your dad. Best, the big Fabrizio, maestro, Ciao maestro Fabrizio Sobrano. <laughs> Uh, Fabrizio story. is in Poznan in Poland. Can you imagine? And my very dear friend and uh, Cheslov is a very dear. You know, they know each other. They uh, they all pianists. So yeah. let's let's uh, hear the Polish one. Let's dedicate it to all our Polish friends. Come on. I don't, I don't remember. No. Ah, madai, ma kef, ma uh, No, because you know when you don't sing because it's not a language that I know. So I, I see. Have to a little bit because <laughs> uh, so which one uh, the the one then you uh, why don't you share something from your dad uh, the English and the the American as you said and the French one do you remember something in these languages Papa loves uh, to sing uh, Maria Maria da -di -ba -da -da -da, Maria you know from uh, West uh, West Story, West yeah. story. He, he liked to sing this and he liked to sing Le Feuille Morte. Ah, je voudrais tant que tu te souviennes des jours heureux où nous étions amis. Ah, ce nom-là est ta plus belle et le soleil le plus brûlant qu'aujourd'hui. Les feuilles mortes se ramassent à la pelle. Tu vois, je n'ai pas oublié. Les souvenirs et les regrets aussi, et au bien ta vie, et c'est pour à domai va. Tu vois, je n'ai pas oublié la chanson que tu me chantais. C'est une chanson, et la canzone, 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 la Et la mer efface sur le sable les pas des amants des Et au mar, je 
C'est la version. Euh... <rire> C'est la version, oui, oui, bien sûr. Là, 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 là on va passer euh, de l'anglais au français comme signal de pouce. Un, un, <rire> deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. That's it, that's my. <laughs> that's a French, I know. <laughs> I speak French in Brussels as well. So, uh, <laughs> the lines in Neapolitan yes, were translated uh, by one of the most important order in, um, uh, in, in, that we have now in theater, the Lorenzo Moscato. Mm. Because uh, you know that only the poet can translate the po a poet. Only yeah. a poet can translate a poet. That's like true. Said. And uh, Moscato translates these uh, two lines. Uh, I think it's fantastic. And a canzone ci rassomiglia. And a canzone, c'est une chanson, nous ressemble. No, and a canzone ci rassomiglia. You know that, you know that uh, Neapolitan, a lot of uh, Neapolitan words come from, come, comes from French language because we have the domination, the French the domination. Mm -hmm. And so a lot, a lot of words. The, you know that I think that 70% of uh, the language are, are so similar because we yeah. we have a lot in Italian and because of Latin. Spanish. But also the Latin, also the Latin root, they are also, similar. Uh, yeah. So, yes, if I, I if I tell you, for example, um, boite, la boite, and uh, in in Neapoli, in Italian is scatola, mm -hmm. in uh, in Neapolitan is a boite. Is, is the, the same, no? Because yeah. a lot of people... Les cerises, les cerises, in Neapolitan, it's cerises. Cheras. Les cerises, mm. it's cerises. So, But uh, we have a lot. It's very, very similar word. For example, in French you say, assiette-toi. In Neapolitan, assiette <laughs> yeah? It's quite similar, you know? Yeah. Assiette-toi, assiette huh? The and same. Spanish also, no? Also Spanish, also Spanish, Spanish words. Spanish yeah. I think that's a Latin, they're all sisters in a way, languages, yes, that, because of the Latin roots. Yes, but it's not for the Latin roots. Not just that, no, I see. No, no, it's for the, because most of the... The those, occupation. Uh -huh. yes, yes, the occupation they, and even some way to say that uh, uh, in, in Neapolitan maybe they say boat, boat, and they say boat, okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, in the, during the World War, during the Second World War, when there was the American people in uh, uh, the soldiers in the Naples during the occupation, you know, when they came here after the occupation for uh, to uh, to the the, yeah. the end of the war, they stay here for a long, you know. Yes. And during this period, uh, the American soldiers uh, were in the streets. They walked. They, And all the, you know, the little child called the Spumizzi, you know, the Napolitan Spumizzi, they were near the, they, they go by and they said, can shoe shine, you know, shoe shine. They didn't know how to say it. They say, shoe sha, shoe sha, shoe sha. And they, you know, the film, the film by Vittorio De Sica, shoe sha, is uh, about the Spumizzi. Okay. And uh, there was a song that after has been singing by um, after Tamuriata Nera, but it's not a part of Tamuriata Nera, uh, because all the, always these Spumizzi uh, listen to the, the American soldiers sing an American song that say, uh, you know, uh, look at uh, Patty Mama. Uh, 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 um, And uh, 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 anyway, no, and I shall have to go like with a lag of dish. I'm packing, I'm packing the pistol, 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 I'm pistol, I'm packing the pistol, I'm packing the pistol, I'm packing the pistol, i ragazzini, the children, listen to that and they repeat the sound. And this is something, you know, like a gromlo, okay? I see. Like a gromlo, and uh, they put in a, after a very famous song, it is called Tamuviata Nera, 
that is about this period of the Second World War, when, after that, Neapolitan girls with Afro-American soldiers born black child. <laughs> That's why it's called the Black Tamuriata, and it is, was very it was not possible that time. If there is racism today, still <laughs> imagine yeah. what can happen if when a Neapolitan girl not married born a black child. <laughs> That's it's something impossible. Yeah. And, and we have a lot of today. They have sixty. 60. Yes, we well, have a very, very... Uh, the the very child of the world. Yes, They're called the child, the child of, the of the world. They have a, black skin, but they uh, speak the vault. We have some musicians that are... are yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. And uh, to, to look at your own musical education, I mean, how was it when you were little? Um, uh, what was the training like? I mean, uh, was it at home or did you study the music that you sort of studied from your dad, uh, did he train you or you had to study on your own and then remember the songs? Yes, at the beginning, you know, my, uh, my father and my mother wants us to study before, you know, because we like very much music. Me, uh, for example, I started playing piano at nine, uh, ten years old, so I played for eight years, but I love very much to sing. <laughs> It was my passion, uh -huh. maybe. So after I left piano, but it was very, very useful for me because now I teach also uh, singing. So uh, it's very important to know the music, you know, for yeah. teaching other yeah. people because yes, sing, to sing, uh, the singing, the voice is an instrument as well. But you have to uh, to teach. You have to know a little bit more the all the the mechanism, but also music. You know a little bit. You have to know. So I'm not a, a pianist, but I know music. So uh, this is very. This was very important for me. And I played a little bit of drums also for two years. <laughs> I had a, a lot a lot of fun because I have a rock group. <laughs> and so when I was a rock playing, drummer, a rock, a rock really. <laughs> I was 24, 25, but I had a lot, a lot of fun. Yes, it was uh, very, very funny for me and my. We had a all women's group. <laughs> really? We, yes, our name was Hot Pants. I think uh, uh, Ramanjit is going to be all these. You know, we've got several feminists listening to our conversation. Hot They would be so pants. happy. Hot Pants, <laughs> no. Hot Pants, yes. What the name? Hot the name. Pants. And, um, and you know, we so uh, it was very important for uh, for our family to to let us study, so to uh, to to go to school, to study languages, to go to university. So uh, this uh, this process is um, it, it, it grows when we were um, adults, so uh, 20 years old, so 19, 19, 20, me. And for, uh, Me, for Francesca, it's a little bit... I have more. a little bit different story. Mm. And so, uh, after, before I sing for me, you know, I study piano, I sing for me at home. But after, when my father decided to open this place, we started to, to sing with him because I, I, I <laughs> don't even think... I didn't think. Uh, Amelia, I was, Amelia think. was 18. Yes, 18. I was 18, you know, so I... I uh, I was in another in another path in another uh, in another period of my life. So uh, uh, of course I, I wanted to sing, but I was afraid to go on stage to sing. I was very very uh, a person a little shy. bit time shy. I have um, a shy character, so for me it was very very difficult to perform. But after this, I started to. Uh, At 19, I started to uh, to have classes, to have singing uh, classes, mm -hmm. and I started with the classic. So I mm -hmm. four years of lyrics, uh, not opera, opera, opera singing. Mm -hmm. So three years of opera singing, and after I I am um, I understand that it was uh, it was changing my voice, you know, because uh, at the same time I sing in Neapolitan and I sing other songs, so it was transforming completely my voice, and so I decided to stop and to start. Uh, to start studying modern modern singing, no uh, leather. I see. No, with our father, we did even did some operetta evening. Oh, yes. yes. Ah, yes. so Very fun. Yeah. With Elio Pandolfi, one of the best uh, 
interpreter of all Italian operetta, Elio Pandolfi, fantastic mm. person. And with my father, you know, um, not specifically technique, but he, uh, he gave us some advices, of course. But with him, we do uh, above all the interpretation of the of the, the songs because Neapolitan songs are the very meaning, very yeah. dif difficult to interpret. The meaning and so of the words. he uh, insist 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 that we understand what we sing. So we live what we sing. We understand perfectly uh, what we sing. So the, the words, the pronunciation, the pronunciation, and the the meaning of the song. And so the interpreter with him was very, very deep, this interpretation, this studying of the interpretation. He was also. very severe, very tough, 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 tough. father. He was, he was sweet, but he was uh, very... Uh, he, he pretends. He was not uh, an, easy, an easy father. <laughs> <laughs> he wants us to be serious, to be... Uh, but uh, even very, he let us free. He let us free, always free. We were very free women, free, free girls, but respecting all the dudes. We have to be serious and we can go out. If you, are, you didn't study, we want to go out. We have some rules to We uh, have some respect. rules at home, but we <laughs> always work. We always work with him. I have a little bit different story because uh, when I was uh, a child, but I was uh, four or five years old, uh, I didn't know that Amelia. my father. Uh, Amelia. Amelia. Yes. She just said that when she was a child. I mean, is she grown up now? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. I'm always a child. Always. I will be always a child. <laughs> daddy's, daddy's darling child. Yes. Tell me. I you were telling. I want to be a child because I think that if uh, we keep our childhood inside. Yeah. We can find the right way to live. Uh, I am a person that is uh, always. I, I open my eyes. I want to be surprised mm. by word by the people. I never. I never tired of that. Uh, I think that I always look at the uh, word like a child. Yeah. Uh, no, that's that's oh. always beautiful. So you were telling that your uh, your story. Yes, you're you're story mentioning about your story. Because when I was a child. <laughs> and uh, I was uh, four or five years old. I didn't know that my father was a singer and that I belonged to this uh, art family. And I had an art name invented, a fantasy name of art. And uh, I, my, my, when I, when I play, I, I was uh, alone and I play and I said, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you Stella Doris. And, uh, always me, I introduce myself, <laughs> and I go out, here I am, I can act, I can play, I can sing, uh, and I did all that, okay? In a while, when I was uh, seven years old, uh, eight years old, my father has the habit of taking us uh, to theater, even when we were child. Me and the other, we have, you know, we have uh, an elder sister. Claudia, no? That is, uh, she's an actress. She's an actress, Claudia, and she's the first, okay, the first. And so, uh, Claudia, Amelia was not still uh, because Amelia is uh, not still. <laughs> was not still with us not still there. because I am seven years more than her, and Claudia ten years more. Uh, we are. She's she's a child. Wow. I know. I was just teasing her. That's I'm, just, I'm the youngest one, so me and Amelia can tease you. She's the youngest one. We are old. <laughs> and so, Clary and I, we went to theater with the mama and papa, with mama and papa. And uh, I stayed there. I was enchanted. I stayed there. I can't talk. I just look at the uh, stage. I just look at the uh, uh, curtain. When the curtain was uh, closed, I was there. Uh, my father, we have to go. We have to go. I say, oh, my father say, but you know that. I, so I, I, we, we, I, we went to the San Ferdinando, or, yeah, the San Ferdinando, I think, I don't remember. Anyway, we went, I say, I, Eduardo De Filippo, all the best actors I, I saw in at San Ferdinando. And I saw the Gatta Cenerentola, the one by Roberto Di Simone that I told you. And I start to sing from the, uh, <laughs> all the day, the whole day I sing Gatta Cenerentola songs, okay? 
and I read the poems. And my father said, "Okay, uh, I, you are, you belong to this family. Mm. So I, I wanted to be an actress. Mm. I didn't think about singing. That even if I like this uh, Roberto de Simone Gatta Cenerentola songs." And so my father decided to uh, let me uh, on the stage with him. So I start at nine years old with my father. I see. <laughs> and then I never. Uh, do you remember? Do you remember the first the first one? Yes. <laughs> what did you sing? Like, no, I didn't sing. I play. I act a poem by Toto Alivella. Share it. No, share the poem. Do you remember it? Yeah, but it's very difficult to understand for your own. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's it's. Uh, they're, yeah, they're a, look it's at uh, look at Mario I Conti has just written a surprising I conference just, concert. Congrats to the three of you. Forget yeah, about I, forget about I, I, that. You're talking to a Punjabi uh, racist, yeah, male okay. chauvinist. Allora, this, <laughs> this poems is called Dalibella. Just just think, I, I'm a Neapolitan. Okay, uh, you're so no un ragazzo Neapolitano. Ah, so non 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 vedi che c'è la differenza non lo so <laughs> i don't know if i said it all right se uno spugnizzo yeah 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 just 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 say just just address as if you're in napoli yeah this is a poem by it's very long just uh, some lines no no it's all right even the full length is okay i'm okay with the length La livella is, uh, how can I explain you, is uh, something used by the, uh, the editori, the Pins painters, uh, when they have to, um, to, to, to balance a thing. You know, a livella, yes. that, that balance in the same highness, uh, highest two mm -hmm. things, okay? And it's about that, this uh, poem. Uh, is a, a, a man that is in a cemetery and uh, he forgot to go out and uh, he uh, stay closed, he stay closed, uh, the cemetery closed and he stay there. And uh, he, he saw two ghosts, okay, two ghosts. One is a noble one and the other one is uh, a, poor one. a poor one. And uh, the interesting thing is at the end of the poem, because at the end, uh, the, the poor say, uh, because the, the noble uh, say, um, I have to Feels like to be superior. Superior, noble. because they have uh, put uh, this poor by, uh, the nearby him, in the same nearby. place, okay? The same the, uh, Tom, near, near him. Uh, and so he say, I have to remember, to remember the lines, uh, I'll say, um, uh, it's difficult to get one of the ma of the last one 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 Supporta ma vicina che ti importa. Sti pagliacciate e fanno sulle e viva. Noi siamo a seria, a parte di ma morte. We are serious, we belong to death. Okay? He said to him, stop doing all this... Uh, this um, kind of stuff because you are ridiculous. You are because ridiculous. In, in front of the death we are all the same. Th that's yeah. why this poem is called La Livella, you know? I see. It's very important. It's very. It's very. It's even very humorous. Huh? It's a metaphorical one. This know? can be dedicated to uh, the erstwhile emperor of Trumpistan. <laughs> of Trump, uh, level. He <laughs> He's been leveled. Leveled. <laughs> He's been brought to some justice has occurred. This is brilliant. So this was uh, you performed this when you were nine years old. Yes, but this it's very it. long. Eh? I just uh, play. I, I just yes, tell the, yes. the, the end of the lines. No, but you uh, you don't remember the whole. If you remember, it would be wonderful to map it. No, you know, to it's so long. It's so, so, it's, so it's long, long and uh, it's a lot. A lot of. Uh, it's been a long time that I know. So uh, okay. So if you if you it's been a long time. Exactly. I understand. Exactly. But if you remember, it would be wonderful to just to map it in a way. 
just to just to document that maybe another day we will do it for, for I'd be very yes it will be wonderful we can do a follow up session of that i think it will be very very important to map that so that was the first thing that you did that's fantastic and so uh, this was like poetry and uh, that is called that Dio a Maria, always written by Libero Bovio. I, I play two poems. Mm -hmm. My father called me and he, he introduced me to the others. This is my uh, second, uh, second child, Francesca. She loves uh, to play. And uh, I start with the first poem that was a Dio a Maria. Then he go on to sing and then he called me again and I did uh, a livella, you know, it was uh, e Adio Maria is uh, by Libero Bovio, is the same uh, order of uh, Serenate Pulio Chanel, Forse l'autunno, the one we Guapparia. before. Uh, it is the, the last poem he wrote for his beloved wife before, uh, uh, before death, before uh -huh. dying. Uh -huh. And he said, Adio Maria, canzone del canzone, luce e compagni e tutta vita mia, Adio te richiede senza canta e suona, solo con l'occhio era malinconia, io lasso mare, non ci pensa, o mare, o mare d'oro non lo vede più, e chi non vede l'onda chiara chiara che era una fresca come la gioventù. Addio Maria, saluta a me la Napoli per me, dilla che è stata passione mia, dilla che l'ha già amata quanto a te. This is the lines he wrote on his uh, dying bed, because he said, I say to Naples that I love her like I love you. I see. It's a... Uh, a declaration wow. of love to the city and to his beloved wife. Fantastic, fantastic. And uh, the son of Libero Bovio was a very friend of my father, Aldo Bovio. Uh -huh. They did a lot of things together. Aldo Bovio was a journalist with my father. <laughs> a lot of uh, souvenir, fantastic yes, souvenir. Yeah. I, had, I had a wonderful childhood, mm -hmm. wonderful, with my father. I met uh, interesting people. Uh, Giuseppe Marotta, Domenico Rea, uh, <laughs> the, the best uh, Pietro De Vico, uh, the best actors, the best actors uh, writers. writers. Because it was a very, very gold period, you know, mm. gold period of Neapolitan tradition, songs, poems. Directors, actors, uh, writers, philosophers, uh, political person. My father had a very wage, uh, very wage, mm. A lot of people, different kind of, you know, but uh, very, yeah, singers, <laughs> singers, yes, a lot of singers too, yeah. you know. But I remember uh, even the writer, Domenico Rea, was one of our best uh, writers, and he uh, came to uh, my father's, to our home, and uh, he, he wrote fantastic uh, books, and uh, mm -hmm. other people too that had a lot, a lot of people very interesting, always very interesting, because he, he was not, uh, um, he, he and my mom, uh, they never let us go, uh, they, they want us to stay with them, mm -hmm. they didn't, so you have to yeah. go, you know, in, our, in your rooms, because we have guests, no, mm -hmm. my father wants us to be there, to listen, to participate, to, participate to our the adults' speech, uh, because he wants us to to learn to from, learn from, from, from uh, because he, he knew that there were people that can give us something, something you know. So we were never isolated. We uh, we were always with them. When we when we go to when we went to theater, if we get asleep because uh, we were a child, me and Clay, I, Clay and I. So during the you know the pause uh, mm. between the two acts, he took us and. <laughs> <laughs> we were back home uh, with babysitter and he go back to my mom for the second time. He was fantastic. <laughs> I know. We couldn't have, uh, we couldn't have uh, a, be be a, be a better dad than uh, he has been. Uh, you forgot to mention one very important name whom you met uh, because of your father. Uh, someone very important. Uh, someone yes. very uh, who's a who's a top musician who's also a politician who's also a poet and a percussionist <laughs> <It's you. laughs> i mean how how it's you know true. both of no, you I, I hate you both both of you you take all the names in the world 
But me, yeah. I mean, look at that. I'm not for my father. Yeah, yes. I came to see him. I came to yes, see him. But, like, yes, but I, I, I have to say, <laughs> Salvatore, that let us no, but No, but, that, but, but I came, uh, Salvatore, our yes. dear friend, but I came to see your dad. Yes. So, yes. Uh, you know. We were, yes, of course. <laughs> I'm just kidding, just joking. Uh, I know, I know. <laughs> But it's yeah, true. true. <laughs> because, because but we are, we are humble people. But oh yeah. <laughs> no, I'm absolutely. I don't know what humility is. No, no. Just, <laughs> no. I, I want your hat. I, I you always told me that I would like to have this color. I am always. I'm still waiting. Huh? I say this in public. I'm still waiting for this uh, color. Right. Okay. It'll come. It's it'll my, come. I'll, I'll send. I love the color. I, I'll one. send one to you. I'll send chakra. this one only. <laughs> the chakra. How you say? Please. That I don't know how to pronounce it. The, the turban. Chakra. The turban. Yeah. The, the pagri. Ah. So uh, uh, the two poems that you shared is uh, fantastic. And how was it afterwards? Immediately. I mean, uh, did the poetry, uh, the act of reciting poetry. Uh, did that continue for some time or did you start singing soon after? How was it? I started singing, I start singing when I was, uh, I start acting, I start playing, I continue studying. Then at the end of the, uh, before the university, I start to work in theatre. Uh, do you remember something from your theatre? Any, any lines that you remember that you can share with us? Yeah, when I was, uh, at that time, I don't remember, well, I had a little lead the roles. I was a girl and uh, so it's uh, something that I was so lead the roles that has no sense what I can say I see. because I was just beginning. You were, uh, I see, did that in the last years, uh, in the last years uh, I uh, I had a lot of uh, important roles uh, mm -hmm. in Neapolitan. I had, I did um, uh, uh, in, in, in theater um, Eleonora Pimentel Fonseca, but uh, the story of uh, a nun uh, by a contemporary or a female author. And uh, so I, I, I come back to the theatre in this last theatre with the director, uh, male and female. And uh, it was very interesting for me to go back to theatre as an actress. Mm. Okay. In particular, in this uh, uh, comedy that I did, uh, that was more than a comedy, it's a tragedy, this is very sad, uh, with the, this uh, film author, Angela Di Maso, and with her uh, I did uh, an important role, and it was me and another author, we, I, I interpreted a nun, mm. not singing, and in this other, uh, in this other show that Amelia Seria and Abilette Fonseca, I even sing, I, I act, uh, but when I was a girl, uh, so I just started. Then I leave theater for a while, and I dedicated to studies. I go to France. Uh, I did other experience, and then uh, I go back to uh, to the to sing to song with my father when we opened the Gila and uh, with Amelia, and then the Rondinella, and then the story that you know. Right. So it, but, uh, for a to... while I didn't. For a while I didn't. Uh, I didn't go on the stage as an actress or as a singer. I organize. Hmm. I uh, may I studied to uh, manage events and to organize events. I, see. I was back, and this is uh, this has been very useful for me because when I started to work for uh, Amelia and I for my father, I, I had experience in production. I see. So I produce. I know how to you know, uh, organize events and then. Mm -hmm. So what's, uh, what's next? I mean, talking of uh, coming back to you uh, in the sense of learning uh, from your dad. So when you came back, as Emilia was mentioning, when the, when the restaurant started and the place, there was a place performing space. I've seen that fantastic piano and Fabrizio, he was much younger <laughs> in the later 90s or mid 90s onwards, you guys were doing that. So it was like uh, you already knew the songs because he was singing and practicing at home. You already remembered that. And then you were looking at uh, perfecting um, the diction, yes. the meaning, um, interpretation. How was it like? Yes. 
we knew a lot of songs. Uh, it, it was evident because my father uh, sang songs, but in that period before before the opening of uh, Girola, my father uh, has did other other jobs, you know. So uh, in in a period he, uh, he didn't sing. So we know the songs because we. We have a lot of CDs, a lot of LP at home, so we sing. We are, we have the habit to listen to Neapolitan music. You know, even my mother, if if she is off tune completely, <laughs> my mother is off tune, but uh, she likes very much to sing songs. She loves some Neapolitan songs, so we know. And after we we the started, we read concert. we read a lot of um, uh, books of theater. You know, Viviani and so on. And so we go to a lot of concerts. But when uh, Girola started, uh, we uh, started to study uh, very, very much this kind of um, uh, the, the, to open mm. <laughs> and to uh, enlarge our uh, repertoire right. uh, because it was not so uh, to not to, to find people. because it was not simple. You know, it's a very, very huge repertoire. Mm. Uh, mm. And uh, my father teaches us and um, he and chose goes, for us. Uh, yes, he chose for us at the beginning because he was. And after he gave us the tools to. Uh, to start to yes. learn, to start to because uh, to you know sing that he has been a very important producer yeah. of singers, mm. so he was a very um, he, he knows yeah, he knows so, how yes. to choose the song and the order that can be good for your voice, for your you know for your talent, for the tools that you have in your voice because everyone has. Uh, he was capable inside. to understand immediately yeah. what it was. It, it he was, was able to do that, and so he decided he helped us yes, to find, to, choose, uh, to find, to, to study find that. Him. And after he gave us the tools to continue all along, so we started to uh, to begin a duo. So we we formed this duo, Le Rondinella, and so we started to uh, to study our voice, the the the, the, the mix of our voice. So we started on our voice, what kind of music was uh, better for us so what kind of songs even, what even, kind of even, poems, even going to uh, discover and sing uh, something, uh, something uh, contemporary. Yes, contemporary so we start in our concert so, so did you work with your dad about the repertoire that you would want to choose uh, that you would when you were sifting things from what no, all no, there no, was uh, or did you uh, did you no, did both no. of you did it on your own no, at the beginning, yes, but when we became a duo, no. Uh, when I we see. Became, you choose your, okay. When we became to, uh, to, to do concert, to produce our concert, because we produced our concert, Amelia and I, we produced uh, all along. Uh, with, uh, and uh, we had, uh, at the beginning, a lot of musicians on the stage, too. And uh, with them, we went... Uh, we start, uh, and I would like to mention, uh, with a very two, two, two pianists, Fabrizio Soprano and Luca Minnella. There was one, uh, the other pianist that, that stayed with us and love, uh, really love uh, our father, and my father loves him as he loves Fabrizio. And because they were uh, two boys when they came, Luca was 17, he didn't drive, uh, and the father. Uh, accompany, him, accompany right? him and Fabrizio was uh, even Fabrizio was uh, very young and they stayed with us for 20 years and uh, so it was fantastic and then when we uh, start this uh, concert uh, no because we we uh, start to find something new uh, contemporary because uh, we wanted even to sing uh, Pino Daniele and uh, I don't know our other, contemporary music that we know that we love music. in this period, you know, so it was normal. So all the the seventy music, the the nineteen seventy music, the the new the Napolitan the new Napolitan song, you know, the Napolitan power songs, uh, all the new artists of the period. So we were furious also to to experiment this and to to do modern <laughs> songs and I not see. only classical. So even if we love, we loved and we love uh, so much this our mm. tradition, so the, the old one, the ancient one. But we don't. We love also. We are contemporary at, at, this, at that period. We are 20, uh, 30. So you know, uh, 
it was uh, it was very good for us to uh, to sing also this kind of uh, repertoire. Mm. And even and even uh, uh, French songs, Spanish songs, you know, we were fascinated by even by ah, those yes. songs, and we tried to choose some songs that can be very similar or very near to Neapolitan tradition. I and see. there are a lot of Spanish songs that when you sing, it look like a Neapolitan song, you know, when you sing. It's a very similar way of singing mm. uh, of Sp ancient Spanish songs. <coughs> uh, so we try to do this and then we, we start to go abroad. Uh, we start our career without him, mm. and uh, he was not so glad. Eh? <laughs> yeah. He was not so happy on it because uh, you know it's uh, it's uh, it's a, it's like uh, we wanted to to go to go. We wanted to to fly. It's in our surname. <laughs> so when you uh, when you were both uh, uh, planning, which year did you make your uh, duo? The Le Rondinella. Uh, this, uh, the Rondin Le Rondinella uh, born in uh, the Girula, in the home of Girula was called the home of Napolitan song, because it was like a little theater. No, yeah, it was, yeah. Because uh, it, uh, it started uh, like a restaurant and then at one time the lights uh, were off and uh, the stage uh, where yeah. we yeah. start singing. Yeah. So where the two times were uh, uh, sh uh, were divided, were, were mm. not uh, together. People didn't. Uh, I remember eat. that. Yeah, it was like a little theater. So yeah. what was called the whole. Very of beautiful, the actually. I see. Yeah, yeah. So at and that then, time, which was which year was yeah, that? When did you? Uh, I mean, I was asking which year did you make up? It was at, at the very beginning when Jerula was made. Uh, after, after one five years. No, no, about five years. No, Which year would that be? Ninety-five, six, something like that. Uh, no. We opened in the nineteen at the end of nineteen three, ninety-four, and then we start to play together to decide to be a duo about ninety-eight, ninety-nine, and two thousand. Uh -huh. We did the first uh, CD, the cover of the Vico de The first CD was uh, was a classical one, and my father was uh, very. Uh, help us to do it and to choose the song to choose the I song see. yeah but even there we uh, say I, we don't want this uh, we would like to sing this in another way in a modern mm -hmm. one but he was agree he was agree he I let see. us uh, he let us choose uh, the way yeah. and uh, uh, the um, especially when you I mean you mentioned about how you began with the poetry and slowly began to, you know, got into theatre and Emily also mentioned in the beginning how uh, she studied piano and then she wanted to sing and later in the teens when she took actual formal lessons in opera that she realized she wants to sing Neapolitan. Um, so to you, Amelia, um, the question that was coming to my mind earlier is that uh, do you remember something, I mean, the songs that you did with your dad as well, which were opera-like, which were opera-based? Do you remember something? Can you share a line or two? If, do you remember yes. something? And I, I'm talking about the voice production. And then you we, can share, uh, I mean, we also, although you've already sung and we, it's audible, but it'll be great for us to know from you, uh, in your words, the different voice production uh, of opera than, yes. and then that, yeah. Completely different because you know the when you study opera the voice changes it becomes huger and huger because you have to to use the diaphragm and all. you use your instrument in a, in another way you have to open more you have to to push more it's another sound you know you have to arrive to uh, to have a, a different voice from the modern voice you know it's uh, it's different. That, uh, you want to know if I uh, I sang with my father some operetta yeah, songs? Some opera yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. Yes, we um, uh, Francesca told you that we did this uh, this soiree of operetta hmm. with uh, with some operetta uh, singers, and with him, yes, we uh, we did some operetta uh, stuff that was uh, La Vedova Allegra. I don't know. I don't know in English is the. 
la, la, uh, the Mary Widow The Mary Widow, you know? La vedova allegra uh, This is la canzone di Viglia that is very famous uh, Un di tra le rocce una viglia di dea e un bel cacciator di l'ombra la vedea la ninfa e allor si mise a guardar e tosto il suo cuor cominciò a palpitare and so on this is Bilia 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 del bosco ti do l'amore tu dammi l'amor Bilia No more this uh, this kind of way of singing. <laughs> and after there is the the funny one that is. Uh, <laughs> the so this is all the, the operetta song. Uh, the other one, uh, Cavallino Bianco, all the, this famous Al stuff. So Cavallino, the, I, 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 I don't remember anymore. All the one of the best older of uh, operetta was uh, even Costa, the one who ah, wrote yes. all the music for the Salvatore di Giacomo's uh, song. The operetta napoletana was very famous. I see. But we did a lot of things with uh, our father alone. We we cry. We go across uh, even different kind, you know, of theater music. Yes. I I love to sing even Brecht song. Uh, uh, I did uh, l'opera da tre soldi <laughs> some years ago. Uh, Amelia did the musical Rent. Uh, this is an American musical, completely uh, translated in Neapolitan. So we we we, we, are, we not only do Neapolitan stuff, but uh, uh, because we are uh, we always uh, our fathers say that we were uh, citizen of the world. That uh, even if we had not to be lied to our roots, uh, I think that the roots uh, can uh, has to be wings. You know, our roots are our wings. Uh, without roots, uh, you don't exist. But you don't have to be lied. Uh, the roots hasn't to be, you know, like uh, a stone uh, on uh, your uh, on your development. On your, you have to grow up. You have to 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 know different things, mm. and then uh, you can go back to your roots in a different way. And you after know? you have to see that if you can if you can do it if you can sing because. Sometimes it's not possible to sing everything, you know. You can try to sing, or uh, if you feel very much a, a genre, a song, or a music, you can try because it's it's your, it's the ears that has the habit to to listen to a kind of music. If you don't have the habit to listen to a kind of music, you can reproduce it, you know, because you, it is not inside of you. You have to to imagine, to listen a lot, to study this kind of music. If not, you can. You cannot sing it. It's impossible. So it's it's obvious that uh, Neapolitan music and uh, all the, the music that is more near us, uh, we uh, we are we are a little bit uh, we are a little better in singing it because it belongs to us. Other things, it depends also how do you feel this kind of music. So if you feel very much, it's probably that you can you can arrive. To uh, a moment in which you want to sing it, you sing it and you can make it. You For know? example, at the Please. beginning of our career, we had a lot of musicians on the stage. But they, year by year, for example, now, uh, I think that the best way of singing Neapolitan music uh, is uh, with the few musicians. And, uh, sometimes even uh, minimalism. Like, uh, minimalism. Yeah, and even uh, for example, as we did uh, 
tonight with no music, even if Napoleon well, today, music. Uh, today is one of the without. Without, <laughs> without uh, no music. We eliminate everything. Yeah. Eliminate everything. The, 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 the next concert, Amelia and Francesca are without, oh. alone. Oh. On the stage, and you know, Boris, it's, not, it's not so simple to sing, no, to sing a song because, without music. Yes, true. even yeah. because the musical <laughs> Napoleon pages yeah. are uh, fantastic. Yeah. Okay, so, we are joking. Eh? No, I know, yeah. I know. The, Our musicians will be, will be uh, sorry about this. <laughs> uh, no, no. Uh, I'm rem I'm, you talked of your, you spoke of your mother. Uh, I mean, the very first memory I have is uh, after the very first concert at Girula uh, that I heard, yeah. me, Salvatore, Salvatore's very dear friend, the doctor, who yeah. actually was a friend of uh, Salvatore, that's how I knew him. Um, um, I was talking to your dad uh, that, that it's, uh, I don't remember the songs that he sang that day, but it's like 25 years ago, 24 years ago, uh, 24, yeah, 25 maybe, yeah. And uh, um, yeah, 94, 5, 90, yeah, something like that. The, uh, um, I was just looking at uh, comparing some of the things that when I was mentioned to you that uh, there are certain uh, compositions in the Raga system which were taken from the uh, uh, Indian folk. Uh, yeah. I just said this much and your mom was like as if she was, uh, you know, struck with uh, some electric current of four, 200, 440 volts. She says, no, this is not, this is not folk music, it's classical music. I said, then I told her that I understand. I mean, I am not saying this is just merely folk, but I'm amazed that even in uh, South Asia, uh, the gurus, uh, Sikh gurus did that. Um, there was one example that I shared at that time with your uh, dad was, uh, uh, and this is like from the folk, Alania, which is again to do at the time of death. Uh, so the rhythm is with ha, di, ingra, da, da, di, ta, ta, di, ingra, da, da, di, ingra, da, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 beats is going on. Ha, din, da, din, din, da, din, din, da, di, ingra, da, da, di, ingra, da, di, ingra, da, da, ha, ni, sa, ram, da, sa, cha, pa, ta, sa, jin, jag, dham, da, jin, jag, dham, Jin Alania to do with and the and the stanza goes up. Singing the movement from the slide from one note to the other in the very beginning. So, Jeha Likheya Teha Paya Jeha Purab Jeha Purab Jeha Purab Kamaya. And it goes on, like the repetition of the lines are repeated. This is Guru Nanak's original, 
my ancestor bhai sadaran is the one who walked the last uh, with him at when guru nanak's last walk when he wanted to leave his body and the secret was only with my grand my elder and he sang uh, my family elders have remembered that guru nanak sang this before he left his body uh, and it's to do with the, the time of when it goes up akaya Vichoda is separation. Kaya is the body. Hans is the swan, the swan, the swan, the bird. The soul and the body are now separating when the time is when the time is up. So it's that song when he actually is said to be the last one, as as my ancestors remembered. So the point is when I was talking about, I mean, with it with your dad was that the how the classical music has adapt, uh, adopted or adapted both you know it has adopted because now it is taken <laughs> it is adoption but also adapted that within the uh, uh, you know the raga systems come from indian folk yeah. uh, different regional melodies uh, became were turned into ragic systems uh, there was a discipline uh, created which is the most important note the most conversant note what are the rules that the if a composition is to begin it must begin from the bass note uh, which will be the ha uh, sa it can begin from here or it must begin from the most conversant note we call the vadi the vad is conversation uh, or, or 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 a or the discourse uh, the samvad is the one which engages it's like mod, who moderates the converse, conversation is a samvadi note and then there are anuvadis the assistant notes which which help in the conversation if you're thirsty somebody will bring water you're hungry you're conversing but then food will come uh, something will come maybe there there's a vivadi there's a little question that comes which creates a little dissonance or uh, a sort of a debate uh, okay. a, a, you know uh, creates a uh, you know a, 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 you know uh, a, a quarrel uh, like a, a, a debate a question which is harsh uh, a note like that is also placed that breaks monotony uh, right it it just spices up stuff it's like you have food but you need to put some sale some uh, all all is like that you know like like food is like raga system so i was in fact having that conversation with your dad because that was my first encounter live encounter to neapolitan classical music was me listening to your dad right wow. that was uh, for me it was very very powerful a move, moment but your mom uh, you know i have always i have shared that story with so many people uh, so many of my students about that idea how regional music that there is nothing called one classical music the different regions have evolved their own classicity and, and the idea of the vernacular the indigenous pedagogical processes that are very distinct to certain regions so my question therefore today is for all of our uh, friends fans and students who will watch this how do you define i mean what is neapolitan traditional music uh, as i mean it's older some of it is yes 19th century but there is a history some of the anonymous songs that you've shared from the 16th century and older at that time the modern classical music was yet to be baroque music was yet to be early renaissance renaissance period was there and then there is music from like what sergio bruni has interpreted anonymous songs from the 11 12 whatever centuries tell me i mean uh, both of you i mean in your own words uh, about how you see how would you represent how would you um uh, you know introduce Nepo uh, the the musical tradition of napoli uh, which is which is so strong which has variety which which is uh, it has a, it has such an i don't want to use even intimate it has an inseparable relationship with poetry with literature with life i mean look at the vendors calling look at uh, uh the the idea of travel uh the foreign lands the invasions these are all part of narrative that's what a complete music systems or a complete literary tradition must have it must be a portrait of life uh not an isolated not life in isolation life its a life in its fullness with its full bounty it must have a tale of sorrow to tell it must have consolation someone to console someone yes. it must have medicine to to recover from the trauma 
it must have that spring the bloom the the idea of virginity it's pure life it's it's renaissance of life it's the uh, it's when life is born again after a trauma how it relives so it it, it can be i mean so much comes out of it there is such resonance such harmonies that i can hear from the from uh, you know these regional traditions today we are i mean i'm in face to face with the neapolitan tradition that you represent can you share um, one by one you i mean amelia first francesca first or uh, vice versa tell us I about think, neapolitan music and its tradition i think that the power of uh, neapolitan tradition neapolitan song poems is that he has the the power to concentrate a lot of uh, things inside you know you can find and uh, i think it's uh, very difficult to find a genre music a tradition that has all these kind of stuff inside because the power is this is that, that the point is this the focus point is this that in neapolitan music you in the old neapolitan tradition and the modern because we have a lot of artists and we have a lot of poems and we have a lot of songwriters that has a great um, a great ability to continue and a great power inside their music, even the even contemporary authors. And I think that it's very difficult to find another genre, another music that contains all this power, the power of passion, the power of love, the power of, mm -hmm. of the humor, the tragic, the comedy, the poems, uh, the, the old stops, the old tradition, the, the the modern tradition, the the power of the of the words, because uh, as as I told you before, Neapolitan is like a language, you know, and is a very powerful language. So I think that the power is not only the music. Yes, of course, it's. I think it's the the vocabulary, the the words also that has this kind of power. It, it they had a sort of energy, a big energy. When you sing, when I sing Neapolitan song, I feel. What I don't feel when I sing in Italian, I I get emotional when I when I sing. I I I have the uh, I cry, you know. When I sing in Italian, it's difficult for me to uh, uh, to feel this emotion. And I think that the power is this: when you sing and when you hear a Neapolitan song, you get emotional, you cry, you laugh, uh, you are melancholic, you are you have the the goosebumps no <laughs> you have the goosebumps you have your heart that is um, is beating more and more and so you cry you are you you pass from uh, the the laughing from the from crying you know and i don't think there is in the world uh, probably there is one or two tradition I, I don't want to say that in neapolitan there is everything but i'm saying that in neapolitan there is almost everything that you can find in your life so all the emotions all the feelings good and and bad you know and i think this is the very very strong power and the energy that you can find in neapolitan tradition songs and uh, words and poems i agree francesca you would like to I, share some thoughts about that i agree with amelia said but i think that i have two words that was uh, the title of our uh, one of our concerts that was uh, the singing art the singing art this is the, the art the neapolitan the south uh, because it's not only naples uh, it's not only napoli we say neapolitan song but a lot of songs come even from uh, other parts of campania as i told you at the beginning yes, the countryside uh, the yes, other, it's other not places, it's not yes. only Neapolitan, but I think that uh, the strength uh, is uh, lied even to these the things that I said before, the contradictions of Neapolitan characters. So uh, we can uh, find this in the songs, in the lines that I read by Ettore Giannini. Uh, we have songs uh, to uh, tell our history. So I think that uh, Neapolitan uh, songs uh, is uh, Napo is Napoli, is our history. So we can uh, go uh, through the centuries uh, with the songs, uh, and it's what we we done, we did for, we do, we still do, for uh, uh, for the young uh, pupils, uh, and uh, not only, yeah, not only. 
to to tell uh, what uh, this tradition can uh, be for them to have uh, not not just uh, a mere song because there are even some light songs you know love songs yes, uh, songs that you can uh, listen and have no power of no, not poetic not every, but uh, they 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 have uh, uh, to they have to be able to uh, to see the difference to understand the difference uh, between uh, the sang poem the song poem and uh, as I say, the, they say the canzonette, no? Light songs. Just light songs. So for me, uh, the concentration is the, the what I can say towards the singing art, la terra che canta. È una terra che has this, uh, this power inside, I think. We feel it. It is uh, different in this uh, tradition. That's fantastic. That's uh, I love that uh, idea of the singing earth. Uh, you know, the uh, you mentioned Amelia that uh, uh, very rare traditions are there, which is so comprehensive. Uh, the my the music that I uh, somehow I'm you know it's been about five and a quarter centuries with the music of <laughs> Guru Nanak uh, and all the music that he collected uh, of and this was to do with knowledge. It was not just just mere music. So it was all to do with life. It was to do with, it was, um, uh, you know, you mentioned about, it's like history, the political, uh, uh, the, the uh, response to the political reality at the time. Uh, the, uh, you know, it was all uh, sort of uh, 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 the, uh, how we say, uh, just a sec. Um, the um, uh, excuse me for that. The um, you know uh, the response to the religious uh, uh, sort of uh, the people who were the religious dogma, the ritualism, uh, the empty rit ritualism, uh, philosophic uh, responses, uh, responses to the quote unquote philosophy or uh, ideologies the hypocrisy within the hegemony, bigotry, everything. I mean, it is so comprehensive. Then there is a conversation with oneself, with one's mind, uh, where you try to uh, uh, remove, eradicate the vices from within. Uh, and uh, you begin to ornate your mind and your body and your uh, soul. Uh, uh, you sort of uh, begin to, the metaphor is used as becoming a, a fully ornate bride. Uh, where the groom is the creatore, the creator of the earth, that sings. Uh, yeah. It is that relationship. And what are the values where uh, the creator, it's an important value because uh, the creator uh, is the knower of the mind. Uh, because everybody else, let's say, if I tell you um, that, oh, I'm like, I really want to have a cup of coffee. But I actually don't want to have a cup of coffee. But if I say, oh, I would love to have a cup of coffee, you will, you will agree, you will believe that maybe I really wanted to have a cup of coffee. Uh, or I could tell that, you know, um, uh, it is, uh, you know, very hot here. Uh, you would believe that it's very hot here. Uh, because you're not antaryami, as I say, you're not the knower of my intent, my reality, my inside. But the idea of the creatore is that there is no... A curtain to hide behind, no veil to hide behind. So you cannot lie, you cannot fool that that uh, patron, that judgment, as we say. So uh, for me, uh, in my tradition, uh, the, the uh, I wouldn't say my tradition, the Guru Nanak song, Kabir and Baba Sheikh Farid, Bhikkhu There's a conversation uh, can in a song. The plot could be that I am ignorant. Uh, I am in hell, I am desperate, I am, uh, uh, you know, craving for the beloved creator. Uh, the creator is the groom in this, in which awakening is sought, knowledge, awakening is a realization of, uh, you know, contentment, peace, happiness, for example. Come what may, life may bring me sorrow, life may bring me happiness, how can I be unfazed? So all of that, uh, uh, 
um, uh, you know, uh, can change. The, the first stanza would be a reiteration of that plot that I'm desperate. I'm desperate. And the third part would be where the knowledge comes. So the knowledge would come and bring a sudden change of mood within the same composition, within the melodic mode, within the rhythmic cycle. And then the, the last part would be, the fourth part would be celebration. That means you had knowledge, you lived it, and you were not transformed. So from a shade to utter ignorance, from like no escape, to uh, to be emancipated, uh, to be uh, to be full of contentment, to have received the idea of joy, etc. So that is what struck me also with the Neapolitan uh, classical tradition or the regional tradition that that you have. It is that's why I said it's bounteous. It's full of life. Uh, there is uh, nothing that it it denies. It it it's like uh, provides space to every emotion. That, a, yeah. that, that the people of Napoli uh, have, have had to endure. Uh, every uh, celebration as if has been mapped in its songs. Every tragedy has been mapped and it is there for us to, to feel and to see. That's how I have, uh, you know, that's why I'm sort of intimately connected with, with the music that uh, uh, belongs to Napoli and that your family has so beautifully served. <laughs> I, I know that you have uh, seen a Napolitan song. I know. I <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you, in fact, helped me with the pronunciations of Solimio. You know, it was Stefano. You, I told you, it was Amelia doesn't know. It was Stefano Roffi, you know, the, he plays the double bass. He's the producer yeah. with the Radio Rai Tre. So he, yeah. you know, I had this uh, Sansa Musica on the 6th of uh, March, uh, you know, some things I did with some friends uh, with Valerio Lucito, Michele Carreca and uh, Carolina Pach and Valentina, uh, who played the viola, the gamba and Cheslov came from Poznan, uh, who played the clavichord. <laughs> so we were all doing something together. I made my ensemble, Anad ensemble. Just before the first lockdown. Yes. And... Uh, and the lockdown was happening in the end. You were supposed to come to the concert, in yes. fact, uh, do the yes. Museo de Leche Vilta. Everybody was coming. My brother-in-law was coming from Napoli. Yes. And then yes. it... Yeah. And then lockdown. <laughs> Two, yes. yes. So, uh, uh, that was Osole Mio. I think it was written in 1899. So, uh, the, the... And I translated that into Punjabi as well. But I translated... Uh, uh, because here... Uh, the lover's face is not that of a, a sun, it's the moon, because India is very hot. So, <laughs> we are hiding from the sun. So, I, I uh, translated uh, uh, it into uh, chan, a, a channa merya, you know, a chan, a chan mer, channa merya, the, oh, my moon, you know, my moon face. Uh, uh -huh. It is not the sun face, it is the moon face. Ah, moon face. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> because it's cool, it's, uh, India is too hot. Okay. Okay. We don't. I mean, uh, for example, we crave, uh, we have songs of rain. You would be yeah. frightened in Italy if, if we sang songs of rain because you don't want rain. No, in, uh, uh, I, 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 had a, I did that in, I think, in Den. The song about the rain. Oh, really? You have something? Yeah, about the rain. Uh, it's called Quando Chiova, when it rains. You know, Daniele wrote it. But there are songs about the rain. There are, there are songs. Uh, sing it, no? Share it. How is it? Do you remember? Do you remember it? Yes, but there is no, not a, the, the best song of, uh, of him. No, of I see. Him. So, but uh, we have, we have like a tradition of uh, the idea of rain, the evocation. Yeah. Uh, uh, for example, this is Guru Nanak's own. Uh, this is the rag of Malhar, for example, the Shuddh Malhar, the pentatonic. Namadeyavo, Prani, 
घर जाओ अपनी बद से घर जाओ एक नाम दे दिस इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू नो अर्ली और लेट सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी कंपोजिशन देन वी हैव मेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल विच इज अगेन पेंटाटोनिक बट इंस्टेड ऑफ दिक्स शार्प इट टेक्स दी सेवेंथ फ्लैट रे मनी बनी सानी बे सानी रे रे नी सानी बनी सारे मनी नी बे गोज ऑन लाइक दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो वी हैव यू नो अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सो इफ आई वर टू सिंग दैट इन द स्कैंडिनेवियन रीजन दे विल दे विल रन आफ्टर मी दे से प्लीज वी डोंट वॉन्ट एनी मोर रेन वी डोंट वॉन्ट द क्लाउड्स हेयर इन इंडिया वेन द क्लाउड्स कम पी कॉक्स आर डांसिंग बर्ड्स आर सिंगिंग वी आर डांसिंग सो सो आई थॉट दैट इफ आई टू डू ओलो सोले मी ओ ट्रांसलेशन इफ आई वर टू सिंग हेयर ओ चन्ना मे रेज है ओ सूरज ओ सोले मी ओ दे विल से कम ऑन Yes. Put the know, put the put the air condition the on. Way, <laughs> the best way to to go to the to to to, to, to uh, go to the end, you know, about yeah. meeting, to sing it together or something. Oh, uh, me and singing so. so. <laughs> you can maybe use uh, an Indian instrument to give us the oh. tune, example. Oh. We can share. How can we manage it? We start. You sing the second yes, song. Yes, we start and you sing oh. the second. And we sing the the last one, and we try to go to the the end together. Ah, okay. <laughs> we can try that. Let's see. Can try, eh? It's an experiment. Uh, what note uh, is yours? Is A sharp? Oh, is okay. Oh, I destroy a career. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, in fact, thought of when your dad was there. We I thought of doing I things together. Do. There are two. There are two uh, possibilities. Uh, oh, it's the beginning of, of a, a, a career together. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We should yeah. do that. It's the ending yeah. of yeah. our both careers. <laughs> yeah, mine <they> and yours. <laughs> no, but I think, uh, in fact, I've spoken earlier that I've uh, really want to work on uh, some of the because this also let me. In fact, I shared that uh, in the radio program. and also yeah. with the with the television with the news channel uh, you know which uh, had carried my interview when i was there the indian embassy arranged that uh, 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 the uh, oh sole me oh, i mean it's fantastic when you do do i see go mam magedi sai ai rike sai ni hai ni so this is for example bilawal for us it's also suhi for example and there is asa then when you go for example when you do that for example there's a composition from um, guru arjan late 16th century just to share with our friends ah uh, No, no. I, uh, allow me to share something for with our for our friends also, just to give some analysis of that. That um, uh, and also, I think I've shared this with you, but Amelia, no, because you you're helping me translate. Uh, look at this. Uh, uh, when you start, bow my gears, after amori on jai, amori on jai, darshan pavat hi, rajunath hi. अब चरण गए बोली के फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट्स लाइक देन वेन यू गो वेन इट गोज टू एंड then you know you will in this is rag asa for us ani rasai re sani dai ni pai pai da sani ma mani 
पंजाब Uh, and there in Napoli, you know, uh, we we cry when there is something that is hurt. I mean, it's it's human emotion. It's very generic, very human. I think it was very very fantastic. Yeah, sure. Let's. Uh, so uh, we uh, you were mentioning um, uh, Francesca that we could you you will sing the first one, then I'll sing the second, yeah. and then you sing the third. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yes. Fine. Okay. You start to you give us the two. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, ोल <laughs> Yeah yeah we can we can do that why not absolutely no, this was i mean not my scale so it was very difficult i mean i was uh, yeah, with I the technology with the headphones but there is so no <laughs> another thing 
it's more more near to yeah. you know, we can find another song no 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 it. for me uh, no it's just a matter of uh, finding uh, 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 the mood in a way uh, the, uh, getting the notes we've never never worked on i don't know what your scale is what mine is i mean i know mine but uh, i i you know the originally i think this thing from c is it uh, uh, from c i think See, you know that uh, the at the beginning the Neapolitan songs were written only for men. So oh, I see. That's why. For example, yes. it goes uh, yeah. uh, from from I think E or something. It goes very high. It begins. Uh, So I thought he sang it so well, 1901. I think so he this sings. Was the, the classical aria. I see. And so they were written le arie. They were written for tenors and for men above all. No. So, I see. Uh, the the tunes are uh, are written for these the singers. So it's anyway, no, I would I like to make a wish for everyone uh -huh. that the sun can come in all our lives uh, as soon okay. as possible. Yes. Yeah. That we can meet on the sun, a sunny yeah. day, even on a rainy day, but we can be all together with uh, uh, everything uh, after yeah. all this yeah. yes. awful yeah. period that we are living. Yeah, and a uh, uh, thought for everyone who is suffering now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope to give some a little comfort, maybe with our songs, we are the yes. stories of all the people yes. that are maybe alone at home and are passing this uh, uh, this moment very difficult very difficult so yeah, so, so thank you very much for everything no, and thank, thank, no, for thank the, you thank you for and that so to the audience for following us and i uh, hope that uh, they spend a, a little moment together in uh, in playing in hearing this uh, this music and they uh, they they like this kind of music and all these these things. That, our tradition. Yes, our tradition and uh, and all the things that uh, that we told you. So uh, to end with, I have a request. In fact, because it's to do with looking, listening to your prayer about wishing for the sun or you know for the COVID. We are the reason yes. why we are meeting is uh, because of the coronavirus and the COVID nineteen. Yes. In the yes. United States, they're having more than 124, 21,000 cases every day now. Uh, 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 Antonio Fauci, uh, uh, professor, he's estimating now there'll be more than 200,000 cases uh, a day, uh, kind of a thing. And uh, um, uh, and then uh, the um, uh, you know that's that's and Italy is again looking at Europe. Many places, Europe, England, of course, is looking at several. Uh, you know, uh, more lockdowns and several kind of uh, sort of uh, sort of uh, uh, closures, different kind of uh, measures they are taking. Several measures. Uh, my my uh, in, in our tradition, we have a very particular uh, regard for percussion, for the drums. They say that the drums are destructive in nature. Uh, yeah. They are uh, destructive. Uh, they destroy the pain, the sorrow. So yeah. uh, maybe to end with, uh, you, you know, tell us before uh, about the kind of drums that you play, the tamora that you have, and maybe you can end something uh, with singing a song with the drums, and that I think would be a beautiful way to 
uh, end with the drums and that somehow supplements the prayer that you just did. Allora, this is uh, a tamorra of the uh, ancient tradition and is uh, uh, it's called the tamorra muta because there's no, uh, you know, there's no uh, this kind of... Uh, no like, bells, uh, no, no yeah. shakers, no shakers, yeah. yeah. So it's, you know, it's uh, the skin of the coat, it's coat skin, okay? <laughs> And uh, so uh, the, uh, the Tamora, we are not, uh, we, we don't belong to this tradition, but they are fantastic singers of uh, this kind of repertoire. Of, uh, tamor they are called the Tamorari. I they see. play it in a fantastic way. We played it, but just uh, to do something like this. I see. And there are a lot of religious uh, Tamuriate dedicated to the Virgin, in particular to the Virgin, okay, to Maria. Mm -hmm. And uh, they go up uh, and they sing while, uh, while going to the Virgin, they sing the Tamuriate. So they are all religious uh, uh, songs, but it's not uh, in our repertoire because we don't sing it, but we know them, we have heard them. I see. Uh, which, which what does it say? No. Sì, allora, we have, uh, it's not an ancient song, but it's a very strong song, and it is called Vesuvio, and it's really, and it's really a religious in to the Vesuvio. Mm -hmm. uh, dedicated you know, to the mountain, to the you know, mountain. You know that in Naples, the Vesuvio, se, si chiama, they called uh, a montagna, the mountain. The Napolitan don't call uh, the, il Vesuvio, they call a montagna, the mountain, okay? And uh, this is written by a group of uh, workers of the 18. The 18 that it was, they were called the Itzeti. They were workers. They work in the in a, in, in a Pomigliano d'Arco yes. in a factory, and they create this fantastic group Itzeti. Uh, I discovered. So in a modern tam it's uh, a modern tamuriata. A modern tamuriata. I discover uh, this tamuriata working with the leader voice of the Celsi, who was Marcello Colasurdo. And uh, I told to Amelia when we prepare this uh, concert uh, if uh, we want to sing it together. Amelia loved this tamuriata. And we prepare uh, our Which version. Which voice? Uh, because so, it's a tamuriata. Uh, the voices are polyphonic, so polyphonic. are two, three voices, but we are two. So we and uh, it tells about uh, this very difficult relationship uh, uh, of the Neapolitan with the Vesevo. You know that it was called the ter Terminator, Terminator Vesevo. The Vesevo has, uh, has destroyed a lot of things, but uh, all the people living in Campania never stop to uh, live nearby the Vesuvio. Because they say that uh, I have fear that I can live without it. Mm. No, so, I can live, it's impossible for me to live so without it. So it's a prayer, it's a prayer, they pray with the, it's a kind of prayer. Mm. And I think that the relationship between the, uh, mm. the Campanian people, not only the Neapolitan one, with the Vesuvio can be uh, compared to the real, to the so, where, what we feel when we think about death, some something that has to come. We have fear, but we have to live with. To live with. So we start. We finish with that. Simonto, Simonto, and I ask them. Si amarte, si amarte, a potremmo, montagna fatte l'amo, e scienza via, tu ti è
absolutely fantastic. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Emilia. Uh, you go back tomorrow? Do you? Yeah, tomorrow. so uh, I'm leaving tomorrow, yes, for ah, Brussels. Okay. Mm. For the grey, the, the grey sky. <laughs> yeah, grey skies, grey yes. Sky. <laughs> <laughs> leaving the grey sky. Okay, Baldi. Okay, and well. thank you so much once again. Thank uh, you, you Baldi. We'll continue you. the conversation, you, yes. It was a pleasure to be ha your guest, to be, to uh, be with you. Yeah. And to share, to share all these emotions was with you. Very, a lot of emotions, a lot of emotion. We pass from loves to a little bit of sadness, yeah. a little bit of uh, serious things. So it was fantastic, really. And also so we I got to map your, you know, to remember your dad, uh, whom we lost this year, and also your uncle, uh, Giacomo Rondinella, and of course your grandparents. So that was very important for me to be able to yes. document that. You, Amelia, yeah. you were saying something. No, no, no. I would like to uh, to thank everyone to to follow us and. Uh, grazie anche a grazie. tutto il pubblico yes. italiano, i nostri Italian followers. Italian. Yes, and uh, of course you have the Facebook page as well. Le Rondinella uh, uh, is there and uh, to follow your work. Noi speriamo presto di ritornare sul palco con il nostro pubblico e al più presto di poter fare questo nostro disco dedicato ovviamente a nostro padre Luciano. Lo stiamo ideando, preparando e quindi eh, speriamo al più presto di, poter, la, di poterlo di presentare e di poter fare una serata dedicata alla memoria di nostro padre. Quindi per ricordarlo e con allegria, in allegria perché mio padre era nostro padre, era un uomo allegro, un uomo che amava la vita e quindi lo ricorderemo vivendo, cantando e ricordandolo sempre e amandolo, continuando ad amare e continuando ad amare la nostra tradizione. Grazie a tutti. Thank you very much. Uh, but, uh, uh, but, you know, uh, you have to, you cannot speak in Italian at the end. Now you have to say everything that you said to those who only speak Neapolitan. <laughs> I'm Neapolitan. Yeah. Give us, uh, bless us with, I mean, we, we would be honored to hear the language, so. <laughs> speak to those who speak only Neapolitan. We, we don't have so the habit to speak always uh, 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 at home uh, uh, all the time in Neapolitan. We, we say can. some sentences. Some sentences. Uh, we do, um, I can say, Noi sperammo tanto e torna a cantare con Panval che torna a registrare un disco e soprattutto a continuare a ricordare uh, nostro padre. <laughs> <laughs> E Camarón la accompagna e ci accompagna tutto quanto. I didn't remember all the things that she said. <laughs> so don't remember. Most, uh, yeah. She's not a good interpreter. No, 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 I have to change it. I have to change okay. my interpreter into Neapolitan language. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. See you really yes. soon. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, yes. Hope to see you in Italy. Yes. yes. When you can, you can yes. take it. And so, when you and you must come, both of you, yeah, yeah, Amelia you with your husband, you must all come to, uh, to come to India as well. Come. Yeah, yes, we will. Huh? Yes, we will. absolutely. Yes. yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Yes. So, Thank you so much. Yes. Bye bye. Yeah. So, friends, uh, it was my conversation with uh, uh, Little Dinella, uh, the uh, two sisters, the daughters of Luciano Rondinella, uh, and. Uh, I hope you um, enjoyed the conversation. Uh, we were looking at uh, uh, the um, classical tradition, extraordinary tradition of Naples uh, in Italy. Um, there were technical uh, uh, hitches in the beginning and my uh, sincere apologies for that. There was um, uh, something sluggish here and we started and it was, was not connecting and then in 10 minutes if it doesn't connect the uh, signal, uh, the, the live streaming uh, um, that, that uh, it expires. It happened twice today. Uh, you had to sort of search for the live uh, uh, video again. I'll be doing the taggings again and you will see it on Leron Dinella page, uh, also on Amelia's page and uh, Francesca's page and also on my page as well as my profile. You'll have the uh, recording of this available. Um, tomorrow I'll be um, in conversation with, uh, uh, with, with a harmonium player and a, who's a medical doctor 
um, an outstanding, uh, I mean, he's an inventor as well. He's uh, uh, created the 22 Shruti Harmonium, um, uh, Dr. Vidyadhar Oak. Um, uh, I'll be in conversation with him from uh, 4.30 p.m. onwards tomorrow. Uh, he'll be joining me live from Mumbai. Um, he, uh, you can look him up at 22shruti.com. Uh, um, his, his harmonium that he's playing here can play 22 notes. And I'll be looking at, uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be having a discussion. Of course, he'll play some, but uh, he'll be introducing about the idea of the 22 Shruti. How did he derive that? And what are the ragas that there are uh, that can be sung with that? Um, and how, how these 22 Shrutis were applied, actually. And day after tomorrow, joining uh, me from uh, Poznan uh, in Poland uh, is uh, Amandu uh, Fola. Uh, he's, uh, a, he's a multi-instrumentalist, uh, he plays guitar and many, many instruments and a composer. Uh, he's of course now Poland-based, uh, from, originally from Senegal. Um, he's <laughs> just outstanding. Uh, do kindly mark your uh, time if you're in uh, Europe, it'll be 12 noon. Uh, um, uh, sorry, in, in Senegal and in England it'll be 12 noon, it'll be 1 p.m. in Poland and France and Italy, etc. And then uh, it will be 5.30 p.m. in India. Um, so kindly mark your uh, Monday, uh, November 9th. And then um, on, on Tuesday, uh, another extraordinary uh, musician and a scholar, uh, Dr. Stefania Passamonte, she's a concert pianist. Uh, radio broadcaster uh, and of course founder of LPMAM. She's setting up a conservatory uh, out there in London um, and then uh, she is in the jury of many many international awards including the Grammys and all that. Uh, so uh, it'll be a fantastic conversation. It'll be the 156th uh, Yarna Virtual Medic Series Mela. Uh, this one is scheduled on Tuesday November 10th 2020 uh, at 10 a.m. in England, if you are there, 11 a.m. in Italy, uh, Poland, France, etc. And then, of course, 3.30 p.m. here in India and 3 p.m. in Pakistan. Uh, and I hope to um, see you for all of these. And I'll um, just to mention that the 550th birth anniversary of Guru Nanak comes to a close at the end of this month. So the season one of the Yarnath Virtual Medic series will, will, be, uh, you know, will end this month. Uh, I've already started slowly uh, posting uh, uh, the, uh, these, these videos. Uh, I've, I think, posted about 40 or 41 on my YouTube channel, Bible Deep Singh. You may kindly subscribe to it, uh, share it with others as well, uh, request people in your own uh, worlds to subscribe to it. And um, um, there's not much noise there. It's only uh, things that I uh, post uh, to do with serious work. Um, it wouldn't be uh, any nuisance or disturbance to you. Um, so I will um, uh, continue to upload them there uh, and of course share the page. Uh, follow me here also on Twitter or in, and, and Instagram. You'll find me there. Uh, although I'm not very active uh, in all these places, just uh, I have to use them as the tools as my students and my colleagues at the Anand Foundation have, you know, at one time forced me to have these accounts um, uh, so I have, I have to use them these are ways anyway, they've come handy um, in, in, <laughs> in this year. Uh, things are not good, um, but let's hope things will get better now. Uh, we've had a massive, it's been a tectonic shift, uh, followed very closely. I know some of you uh, uh, that you've followed all that has gone on uh, in the US and in, in Europe, everywhere, the kind of rise of the right wing, the rise of uh, uh, little uh, fascist kind of tendencies, um, you know, uh, the white supremacists, etc. So, I mean, so many, so many versions and grades and shades of uh, nonsense, if I may, both right, left, forward, backward, everywhere. I've seen, uh, I've witnessed uh, uh, unfairness and, uh, you know, injustice uh, and denying uh, dignity to others. Uh, I hope that the changes that have occurred uh, in the recent days um, uh, will will uh, help uh, us all, uh, uh, you know, in, in sort of uh, um, 
fighting with this global pandemic and I hope that life that the life will uh, come back to normal. Uh, India is no good either. Here, here people are not even telling. Um, uh, I have uh, I was talking to Avideep, uh, one of my colleagues at the Anad Foundation, who's now uh, Seattle-based and works for Facebook actually. Uh, uh, she was mentioning about her brother, uh, you know, who's uh, uh, a uh, you know they have a construction company. Her, her grandfather and others had, and, and her brother runs it now with her with his father and mom. So. Uh, that that uh, even customers, even the clients for whom they're making bu buildings and people who are very rich and very learned, they are not telling people, uh, even the contractors and workers, that they are Corona-19, uh, 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 COVID-19 positive. They're afraid that the workers will stop coming. They're afraid that the government, uh, 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 you know, the cops will come, doctors will come and quarantine the entire house and etc. that they, are, they will incur financial losses and loss of opportunities and so on and so forth. So it's a very crazy, it's very inhuman in a way. It's, it's uh, uh, the uh, you know, disregard was, was always there of, uh, you know, each other. But these days it is um, uh, the sort of lowliness is on display. People just don't uh, respect each other. They're just, uh, um, as Guru, Guru Teg Bahadur, who's fourth centenary, but uh, is already on and I will start my second season dedicated to Guru Tegh Bahadur whose sacrifice uh, has, has uh, saved the plurality uh, in the idea in terms of uh, religion, in terms of spirituality, languages and different, uh, uh, you know, uh, he was called uh, Guru Tegh Bahadur Hind Ki Chadar, uh, Tegh Bahadur, uh, you know, um, the one who uh, uh, extraordinary story. I'll tell that uh, when we start the series, we'll dedicate a few minutes to remember him, to recall his sacrifice, the one who sacrificed his head, his, his, his life, to save another religion. I mean, it's the only martyrdom in the history of humankind. All other martyrdoms that we talk of are, are dwarf. They all dwarf in front of that sacrifice that Guru Tegh Bahadur did. And the world is yet to celebrate and people were missionaries and all kinds of, uh, you know, the pundits and the Qazis and the mullahs and the, um, and the, uh, the pastors, etc. who came by way of the East India Company, Christianity came here as had root. They were all afraid that if they told the story of the martyrdom of Guru Tegh Bahadur, the world will be impacted and Guru Nanak had traveled and people had fallen in love with Guru Nanak. Muslims, nobody was, nobody changed what they were, but they became better people. And uh, I hope, you know, that this uh, pandemic actually makes us better people. Uh, but I see that viciousness, uh, slyness, they, it, it finds a way. It's not easy uh, to fight with greed, to fight with conceitedness, to fight with selfishness. Um, uh, but life is what it is, uh, you know, plenty of cold out there, uh, fires must keep on burning, even if uh, they only adorn a small lamp hidden somewhere. Uh, we need to do that we, which, only, uh, which only we can, if I may, uh, and, and which others cannot. Uh, those who uh, do not care, who don't have care or compassion, um, and love for others. Uh, I thought Francesca and Amelia's uh, that, that song they call the Earth Song, uh, the Earth that sings, extraordinary. I think uh, our planet is silent. Uh, we just need to bring the song back. We need to allow it to flourish, allow it to be happy. The water uh, will be happy, the airs will be happy. We must remain, learn how to remain within the confines of our souls. Uh, that's as much as we are. Uh, and I wish you a very good night. Um, um, and I'll see you tomorrow. I have a wonderful weekend ahead. I mean, it's already gone. It's already Sunday here in India. But whatever is left of it, have a good one. And I'll see you tomorrow. Khoda Hafiz. Namaskar. A very good night. Bona notte Italia. And... Varjika Khalsa Varjika Fateh Satkatar.